your phone. Y'all in court, we in session. Isn't that right? So we in session. So we in session. We got to make sure we get this thing right. Everybody all right? Yes, sir. That's two. That's two. You should give me some eye drop doing them blinding me. She told me, I don't know, it burned different people's eyes. You know, I, I'm like, you could have told me I would have left it alone. I wasn't trying to start crying. Isn't that right? All right, everybody, we're going to get rid of the sound to cut up. Hey, bring my hand and put it on my hunt. Get it if you want to. Uh, I hear, you know, you hear something, I was tired, I didn't know what to know I was, though. Because it kept that same tone right there, kind of working. But we'll let him get rid of the sound to cut us around. We'll go home. Also, before we start, who is Southern? Boy, is that the name or something? What is, what is Southern Boy? That's why I'm not support. Oh, he's saying four hundred four dollars ninety nine cents. We appreciate it. We take all we can get. Put that other penny, make it a strong five. And I won't make it a solid five. Them penny chain make me nervous. Ain't no way to get now. It ain't a way to get there without no chain. And that spend them penny ain't gonna make me nervous. And that was real. I told him he was sending the plate. Tell him don't put no chain. Said make him nervous. All that rattling. And he like that quiet money. So yeah, they gonna throw that other penny. Oh, bam. How much? We appreciate that, isn't that right? Erica gave a fifth. Erica, we appreciate. We appreciate the Erica. Isn't that right? That's all right, Erica. We appreciate you. What that right there? Sitting down, doing your thing back. Whatever that is back down. Isn't that right? Is it beating on the buildings? Uh, she said. What did she say? She rocking. What that means? She rocking the house. That what that means? She rocking the house. Now, we appreciate it. Uh, the Zamari that come up and, and uh, perform, we appreciate that. So a lot of people look forward to listening to us. So we started back and let y'all come do y'all thing. Some of them come late, so we don't get to see all of them. They got, we got a lot of different um, varieties of different um, writings of uh, Zamari, just a matter of, you know, what you like, and get them here in time enough so they can perform. They come and do it the last minute, want a microphone, which you can meet them in the parking lot with a microphone <laughs> so they can get that last little bit out. Isn't that right? So. So we got more than that now. We got, like I said, we got more. We just got to get them to get here on time enough so y'all can hear. Okay, we'll get ready to sign. Appreciate you again, Erica and Southern Boy. We appreciate that. Don't forget to put that pen and make it a whole five. Who is that? Chris. Take, uh, take the pen. He probably sent five. Oh, he sent five. They took a pen. Like Joy, Joy sent the whole 50. Apple take a pen. Oh, Apple take a pen. So go back to Apple and send two pennies. So it's going back up to an even five. Like I said, we, we like them bills. Isn't that right? I right, will give it a sound that cut us around. Those that are able will stand. Appreciate everybody again pressing their way. I was uh, <clears throat> in that tell me in the office how uh, it gets so critical out here by next week, but you don't know what'll be happening. I uh, know. Okay, come on, put a check on the boy. I'll jump on time. No, come on, I'll put that check on. Then my news segment. Well, y'all that didn't know Donald Trump looking to go to jail too. So. Yeah, they they looking to, they've been indicting him. I mean, I, and, and and you know what? In actuality, <clears throat> it's time not only for him, Putin, and and the reason why I'm just being honest with you, we we watch the elites for world for I mean you know around the world for years get away with you know horrendous crimes, and it ain't over. Joe Biden need to go to jail. A lot of them need to go to jail. George Bush need to go to jail. Yes. All the yeah, all of them need Jimmy Carter. All of them need to go to jail. All these people are uh, responsible for the havoc and destruction of this country. Oh, not just the country, the world. And uh, I mean, they need to dig up all the former presidents. Every one of them need to go to prison. I don't care about their dead. Dig them up, stick their cops inside a cell, and lock it. These people are responsible for the division, for the rape, the atrocity, the murders, the bombing, the killings. Of, of millions and millions and millions of people. And it's still going on globally. We talked about before Africa is in a, um, a situation where they're looking at 25 million people 
uh, on the brink of starvation. That's just in Africa. Those people look like us and nothing being done. And we can give money to them. Unfortunately, it's the hands that going to touch the money before they get it. It's the corrupt hands that who are going to be the receivers of it going to make sure the people don't get it. They don't ever want Africa back on her feet. I call her Keeper Line. That's right. She's the mother of all creation as far as, you know, all these different ethnic groups and countries and these minorities and ethnicities that's out here. They all stem from Africa. Everybody know where everybody stem from, or Keeper Line. But unfortunately, they keep it destabilized. They poison the water. They infect the food. They kill everything they can. I mean, they, they put trash in the ocean. They say the people are doing it. The people get it from them. When your country overloaded, you ain't got nowhere to put it on the land. What you going to throw up but in the water? I mean, what you going to do? I mean, just to show you what they did in Mizraim when they put a decree out to kill all our babies. We put them in the water. That's what we did. We threw them in the water. We didn't have a choice. Wasn't nowhere else to put them. So they force your hand on a lot of ends. I know they show you stuff. And it's easy to make, um, they make us, um, they, what they call demonizers. Because you got to remember, they're the reporters. They're the informers. You know what I'm saying? They're the other people that say, they are more or less sent to what they call the moral compass, which is definitely off center. It's unfortunate that we use them or any of these countries. I don't know a country that got on the planet that we can use for a moral compass. I don't even know a people that you can use. Yasharal, Yehuda, we need to repent. We need to turn back to our Allahim. I'm just being honest. It's just not, it, it's just not practical because, you know, it's hard to get people to live consistently simply because, you know, you've been infected with so many different ideas when you continue to, you know, keep filling your minds with their television, with their movie, with their music, with their newspaper, with their articles, with their internet, with their social media, then it more or less start to set the, the protocol for what we call normal, what we call practice. I mean, the stuff that people waste time doing on the social media side, it's like, wow, people ain't got nothing better to do to watch this food. I mean, you getting paid to do nothing. To, you know, just show everybody your life and just how reckless it is. You know, to show them what kind of stupid decisions you make, doing dumb stuff. And people will do it. Hey, I'm going to do something. I probably hurt myself, but uh, record it. Maybe I can get me a million views and then give me a check. Instead of getting out here and trying to accomplish something and look at credibility and look at how people look at you, it's hurt us. It's hurt us. This is a, I mean, years ago, what we call, quote, unquote, African-American people, years ago, there were certain things we did with some integrity, but today it's just not there. It's just not there, and it's unfortunate. It's really not. I mean, for all of the culture, it's just not there. I mean, everybody turned into a, a human billboard, draw on my face. Write my name on my forehead. If you that dumb, you need somebody to put your name on your forehead. You're just too stupid to be among us. I remember years ago, people have a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? A tattoo. Now, my whole arm, I want to sleep. Two sleeves, then do my back there in the girl, right over the top of my booty. Then tell somebody, quit looking at my ash. <laughs> you wrote on your booty. They're trying to read, what did you write on your booty? I mean, then you write on your titties. So now you got to buy a shirt down here so they can read the whole thing and make sure no love don't get cut in my wide old. Don't go looking for it, all right? Come on. Man, if you was in Africa, you have so much lint and insects in your mouth right now. You may around put one of them, one of them outdoor African titties ain't got no covering on it with all that earthly element on it. I know I couldn't do it. Even if I broke down and went from one, I said, please go wash the elements off of it. <laughs> All kind of flies and nets been laying on that tit. It's already sagging. I don't want no maggot in my mouth. Isn't that right? Everybody different. You can get horny, but that's just sick. <laughs> Y'all are just sick. Isn't that right? I tell man, I, I'm for hostess on everybody. You can't let them day down. They can't hang down too long. Black women titty meaty. They got to sit up. Isn't that right? You don't want that thing hanging down there too long. Man, like you have three bellies. <laughs> now, I'm just trying to tell you now. <laughs> Ain't that right? You got that thing on Total Recall on me your shirt. Quaid. Quaid. <laughs> y'all sick. Y'all are sick. I just want to see if y'all sick. What am I going to do with y'all? Well, I, I, I tell you, though, with, you know, with everything that's going on, and Donald Trump, of course, he already called for his supporters. So we know how they're going to go down too, so right? So, well, I can tell you right now what's going to happen. That just been changed. They won't lock him up Tuesday. So they'll get him Monday. Oh, yeah, that makes no sense. You don't ever approach the day. Now, since he know you're going to approach him before that now. You can't afford for that to happen. That means you're going to intercept quicker. I won't be surprised you get through the night, you'll find out they already arrested him. 
Because you're trying to avoid com you're trying to avoid complication or confrontation. You want to kill a citizen. It ain't gonna go. You were trying to do your job. It gonna go. You came there just to kill American citizen, yeah. and that's gonna put you in a, a bad light. They are gonna give it a bad spin either way it go. Trump been a criminal for years. He need to go to prison just like he helped send those the boys in New York City. Said where the hell they want Park Central Park Five. Where four of them now? One of them dead, if not two. I think what one of them killed himself. Yeah, who can that kind of pressure? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I want to kill this stuff. I mean, it drove him crazy. You've been arrested, you young boys, you've been sent to prison, going through getting raped and everything else that happened to these boys. And, you know, he's still been living his life. Now, all his sins come back on him. And that right? Just being honest, this is what all of us have to do. It ain't about trying to demonize Trump or anybody else. It's the fact of, and it's, it's just truth to uh, power. Um, a lot of whites that have, instru have been instrumental into the destruction and division of this country have always thought that they were without persecution or prosecution. And until prosecution happened to them, that's the only way they're going to change. So they can see themselves in the same rhetoric or the same situation that the rest of us have been in, from the brown, black, uh, other, they call yellow. I don't know how we bought the yellow. I, I've never seen a yellow person before. I mean, you're either white or you're black, you know what I'm saying, or brown or one of these other colors. I don't know where these other colors come from. They convince you of it. Then somebody red, I, I'm just blown away with all these colors. But anyway, um, I mean, people, they just look at putting you in a lower stature, and they've always been the punishers of us. They've always been the people that demonize us and criticize us. But now the shoe turns on the other foot. Now they get arrested. I remember his uh, former, uh, one of his other people forming his camp, they, they told him to appear, and he didn't appear. He went to, call, he went to catch a flight. They locked him up right at the airport and shot. He was pissed. They, they marched straight in the court. He like, you can't wait. I came in. You just can't. I'm getting on a plane. I was arrested. Like, what's the problem? And they end was like, we told you. I don't know what you were thinking. We told you to appear. And he was pissed. He was saying, I don't have to appear. When I get through, I was going to do something. I get back, I get with you. Because they never see themselves having to do what we do. They feel like the system is their system. They feel like if they work in the system, they're beyond prosecution. But Mr. Hood is shaking up the foundation of everything. Let me tell you something, everybody gotta be punished. We gotta be punished, that's what we've been, we punished, everybody gotta be punished. That's what's gonna happen, everybody gotta be punished. Nobody's above Yahuwah's uh, prosecution. Y'all know that? It is, that's it, we had to suffer. We suffered for years, they gotta suffer too. Everybody gotta suffer. Everybody, China, all of them, Russia, everybody gotta suffer. Ukraine, everybody gotta suffer. The people in Israel, they all got to suffer. The Palestinians, everybody got to suffer. Everybody hand had played a part in this. Ain't no country, there's no clean people. Everybody is a part of it. Everybody has had some part in it. If you did nothing, you had a part in it. If you did something, you had a part in it. Y'all got it. It's just being honest. Everybody got to be person. Everybody got to be prosecuted. But this is our opportunity for us to get it right. Because now when you see, if you can be judged on this side and you can be called back up and your quote-unquote sins can come back and hunt you now from years ago and the sins you made, what you think going to happen in the mosh pot? Yeah, yeah, right. That's it. I mean, even with Trump, this is a chance for him to repent. Yes, sir. You know, I used to have that mind, you know, send all these people to Sheol like that. Now, these little child molesting, that's a whole other situation. I'm talking about that another time. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, we all done did something. We all done something. If you ain't done nothing, I assure you, it ain't been because of that ain't your thing. It's just because he just didn't allow it. You've been put in the right situation. You'd have done it too. Every one of us. It just, you know, who has been, you, he been, he been recalmed to. That's what we learned. A lot of us have, like, I never did cocaine. Is it really because I hadn't done it or is it because he just didn't allow for it? Because no doubt if I got put in the right situation, you never know what would have happened. The right influence would have been there. Could have happened. A lot of times people look at, you know me, I never, because that was just never, I never, just never. None of us, listen, none of us have anything to our credit. None of us better than, uh, that's the first thing everybody got to get in their mind. None of us know better than the other. Everybody been caught in a situation, a compromised situation, a terrible situation, and they come back to haunt us. And we all look at certain things as worse than another. But the only thing, the problem is, Mr. Hood look at all the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had never did it. But I remember one time when Hayward came on my house and he was tooting cane on my porch. And I was like, I, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to hold that against him. It was a lot of cocaine. But, I mean, we all got a pass. I'm telling you, he wouldn't stop either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he kept talking about, man, plug me up. I was like, plug. Yeah, man, I'm a vacuum. But I'm like, we, let me say this. It wasn't my thing. 
You know what I'm saying? But everybody has a past. And Hayward was pretty high. He was pretty addicted to him. But we can't go and hold that against him because we all have done something before. Like I told a lot before. Hayward going to snort a cane on my porch. How we look at it? Me, Hayward. Who the worst? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got to just wear it. How y'all see it? Me and Hayward with him? Or Hayward? What y'all think? The little lie I told one time? Or Hayward abuse of cocaine? Which one y'all going to say worse? Abuse of cocaine. Abuse of cocaine. Well, I got to go with the people. That's all I can go with. Ain't that right? But now we, we all got a pass. And like I say, you know, we can feel to our credit that, you know, I'm glad I hadn't done. It really, it's just the fact he kept us. And for those that did it, it's a lot of people never got off of it. There's a lot of people, man, you just can't, listen, for a lot of us, it's people die. I had, uh, my mom had several uh, nieces and nephews that died from alcohol. Right? I'm just checking that. Don't leave my house. <laughs> she waited for like she had to think. You be, you be, you be putting me out here pretty long, mom. I need you to be like right with me, mom. But I mean, I mean, they drunk, I mean, I had cousins that, I'm talking about, they drunk themselves literally to death. I'm talking about to the belly swelling. You know what I'm saying? The liver, you know what I'm saying? And when stop. I'm talking about sick, hospital, I mean, to the end. And I drank. I mean, I drank like a fish. And the fact that he allowed me to be able to transfer over from it. You know, a lot of people look at it. You know, I was just a heavy drink. I wasn't a, you know, I wasn't a, a, a drug user or whatever. Man, alcohol, is it can destroy. I see it destroy people, especially women. It, it abuse them bad. It'll be the woman down. It'll be you start out drinking. It cute. Matter why, man, the eye be bloodshot red. It drink them. I'm seeing where it drink them skinny. Where they drink so much. What I'm talking about, it just, and he spared us. A lot of how many of y'all used to drink? And one nothing but the con of your hood that you want an alcoholic. Johnny, you used to drink? Come put a check on the board. We're not having that righteous stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not, how many, all right, let, you don't hold on. Stop. Let's see. Let's stop. You know, how many of y'all okay with her being self righteous better than us? Okay, I think we got that. Appreciate that's not listen. So you said what? Who you gonna hold that on? Me or the people? <laughs> oh, look how she look at Alicia. Alicia gonna put on Alicia. Y'all know what I'm saying? Cause we all. How many y'all didn't used to drink? Hold on for hold hold so. <laughs> Gary, what you about that stagger? It's all about the people. What you believe? I know good with him. Yeah. Oh, you, you drinking now, you saying? No, no, no. I thought you said who used to drink. I didn't hear you. How many of y'all never used to, never drank before? <laughs> Down and you weren't drunk. You was at the mall in the, in the depth of summer with a tuck seat on, and you weren't drunk. Hold on. Are y'all all right with this? Danny, we're going to need you, Danny. It, it ain't me, Danny. It's the people. Yeah, no. It ain't me, Danny. It's the people. I didn't know Danny had to have a drink. It was the middle of summer. Wasn't no prom. He had the hospital. He had the, he had the mall with a tuxedo on and a cummerbund. What that rubbish? We can't do that, y'all, can we? Then get another one for the necklace. It ain't me. It's the people. I don't want y'all to think that'd be me. Y'all, hold on. Y'all think I be getting players out of this stuff? This stuff hurt. So I just want to make sure, you know what I'm saying, we, everybody good, because we can't have this stuff. Uh, hey, well, I forgive you too, by the way, for two that can I just, because I don't want to hold nothing against nobody. You were high too. So but I just want to make sure, you know, we all forgive each other. Anybody else? Anybody too righteous? Oh, we already seen them other hand. We're going to have to get one. So you didn't drink or nothing? You used to drink? You just grew up like, I don't drink, I ain't going to drink. You didn't like alcohol? I didn't like it either. That's why I tried to hurry and get rid of it. I just, woo, I'm like this. I didn't hurry and get rid of it. Huh? I don't know, but that, you know what? That's the truth. The first time you drink it, it's nasty. It, it's like, why you drink it the second time? You know what I'm saying? Unless you drink one of them cool ones. I drank, like I said, woo, this stuff. Be like, man, this stuff. Huh? Then what, bad? you got to watch people when they say this. Man, this stuff tastes like horse piss. <laughs> you just don't have no question. You say, I don't heard enough from you in there, right? And that, like, why, what made you say horse piss? Y'all heard people say that? Say it looked like it. You should drink. 
What's this drink? Go and put it. Go put a check on that boy. I'm be talking about no run no. But I used to drink, but you know, run that stuff down our face. Ain't even drink none. What you say you were drinking? Hypnotic. What is hypnotic? Is that cocaine? That's a who? Light blue. Kanye. That's Kanye. Kanye is Henderson. That is. Yak? No, 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 no. Kanye is the is a brand of alcohol. That's a brandy. Henderson. Well, no, it ain't just that Martell, Crown Royals. I, I knew liquor. I know my liquor. Who? I don't know, John, that Martin, some of Remy Martin, some of that. That's the lower, that's about low. Then you, the cheapest you're going to get it at E&J. Oh, Irk and Jerk. Irk and Jerk. Irk and Jerk. Awesome. Yeah, man. <laughs> Old folks in the country, you call it Easy Jesus. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, we come from all that stuff. Been there, done all that. Paul, my son, drink no wine before it's time. Ain't that right? And every time I had it, it was time. So you come from all that stuff. That was my last drink, Crown Ray. But that way, I appreciate Mr. Hood for delivering us. And uh, giving us the opportunity to um, get I'm drunk, moonshine, all that stuff. That stuff cook you good. I know I can tell you, full of moonshine, when <laughs> He from back there. I know good well. I can tell you. I know that. Yeah. He was full of moonshine. Man, I told you, I done it, man. I, I about missed the rest of the thing again. I remember I drunk that stuff, man. I'm country boy. Anytime I learned, whenever you see some nigga and they keep laughing every time a word come out their mouth, don't drink nothing they give you. Them country niggas love to laugh. He 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 he. They said try to laugh. He 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 he. They called it um. They called it not a head. They said you want some not head. He 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 he. I like all that laughing. But I like I drank that. So I drank this stuff. They said don't don't keep drinking so fast. I like this stuff here. I washed down some Budweiser. Thanksgiving was over with. That was it. Man, stuck can I ride right over that car went to sleep when I woke up. Boy, my head was not here. I said I know they call it not here. Stomp. The names get you not a head. When you drink something and it change your hair texture, don't do it. Well, all of us, we're the only people who try stuff. Golden grain, that's gas. College kid, they stick it in the punch. That's around, get you all that stuff. That stuff just cook your brain out. You know, you start learning the difference of what we call high feeling good. The stuff cooking is killing your brain cells. For young people, you don't realize, they be like, man, I was so out. Because your brain cell, it impairs your faculty. See, nobody told it. A lot of people knew what, what they were doing when they were doing it. They never would have done it. So they just gave it to them. You just be feeling, they just, you know what I'm saying, having a good time. It's killing brain cells. That's why a lot of times you have some people say, I can't remember what I did. You know what I'm saying? A different thing. A lot of things they gave us was the poison to get us out. If you look at it, they do the same thing now. We're drunk with the cares of this world. See, it, it, it impairs your faculties. You know what I'm saying? Your reasoning, your logic, all these things are impaired because of society, how we're doing things. Nobody says anything about the things that's wrong now. Everything wrong, people just leave it alone. Why leave it alone? Don't judge. Everybody got their thing. Everybody thing need to stop. Everybody need to do your whole thing. Where the world going now? I'm telling y'all, if they go to rest this man Tuesday, Monday, y'all know these people in the town, they place apart. Make no mistake, their place will never be the same. Y'all saw what happened on January 6th when they thought he lost, they thought he won the election. They still don't know to think he won. Count the vote and still they ain't got it. They just, so what do you think going to happen when they go and arrest this man? Anybody would come and say, no, this is going to be bad for the country. It's going to be bad for the economy. It's going to be bad. And you know who they're going to blame? People of color. Because the DA who issued the one is black. So black women get ready. This is going to be your move because you hate the white man. Okay. Y'all see how it go. Everybody want to blame somebody other than who they need to blame. Donald Trump is a victim of his own stupidity. His own judgment call has got him to reap the benefits of what he's finna suffer now. Just like us, then we, don't we have to reap for the benefits of what we've done? That's wrong. Donald Trump do too. Isn't that right? He's not exempt. He need to go. And I appreciate Mr. Hood because they teach every one of us because a lot of times people feel like if you get position, you don't never have to worry about nobody. That's a lie. Uh, Vladimir Putin, he's been convicted in the world court. That's a serious charge when the world court convicts you. He's out, well, I'm sorry, he's been indicted. And they tell him he don't need to appear. He said he ain't appearing. I can assure y'all this ain't over. Just like with Trump, this ain't over. Putin is not the man to turn himself over and he know what's going to happen when he fall on people's hands. He's going to be a laughing stock. He's going to be an embarrassment. He's going to be a spectacle. Unlike us, the white man don't have that kind of mindset to go and say, I'll pay for my wrong. 
he would rather kill everybody around him and blow the whole place up before he give himself up. That's how all of them bad. That, really, all the people who get them the right to get these nuclear bombs need to be in prison. What's the purpose of a nuclear bomb? What it do? It just hurt people? It don't just kill. You can never, ever grow, live there again. Why would you create something like this? See, all these people, this is what I'm getting. The Chinese, the whites, the black, everybody with them. What is the purpose? I'm going to hit you with a nuclear bomb. Do you understand there is no more existence? You can never. Chernobyl is a perfect example. How many of y'all don't know what Chernobyl is? Chernobyl is Ukraine. That's a part of Ukraine that formed in Russia. It was a nuclear plant. It was a city, all Jewish city. And, that, and they wound up having a leak and that thing went off. That was in 1986. Nobody can live now to this day. If you go down there and you sit there, you would catch radiation contamination. And you would get cancer. His soldiers are messed up from going to there. Yes, he went there and called himself capturing that plant. Yep. Them folk got so sick, no people suffering now. They will have cancer. They will yep. die. This is what happened from a nuclear spill. What do you think happened from a nuclear bomb? When these diamonds dropped this in the water, because all of them doing these tests with them. Cause, let me tell you something. How you know that bomb can do this? Huh? So when they test that, you know you can't ever use that again. This is how dumb people are. I want y'all to know, whoever involved this, they're dummies. See, these people are not practical. These people, see, we have to be conservational. We have to be, you know what I'm saying? When Yahuwah put us here, it was about conservation. It's about pr preservation. You got what I'm saying? White people, people in these folks, these folks don't think like that. They'll just destroy you. They don't like to see things continue to go and roll and run a certain course. They rather alter things, destroy things, and kill things and disrupt things. They don't like people getting along and treating one another right. They, rather, they don't want to see people, everybody eat. If it's a hundred of us, let five eat. Let the other 95 fight and kill each other. Versus, like when Yahushua came, they had a last lunch. You know what he told that little boy? That's your food. FD people, they bring their own. Isn't that what he told them? What did he do? And, and divide it so everybody had some. See, white people don't like that. They don't write, why would I? No, nobody taking me to feed them. He looked at, what you think gonna happen when you sit out these people hungry and you try to eat their lunch? What you think gonna happen? He looked at, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't he make enough where everybody have some? They'll look at that socialism. That's not fair. Capitalism. They'll give you these different um, titling and tell you what they use. They, they make a fool out of you. America is socialized. This is a socialist society. The reason you know because the same people are in control because they give it to them. A socialist society believe that everybody should have the same thing. All the rich people got the same thing. It's the poor people. This is a socialist society. They'll try to give you all these titles, all these different titles, different government. They'll try to tell you all of them the same. Yep. None of these people don't believe in no capitalism. Don't believe these people. Now, if they do, you have a business. Capitalism say, you own up a business. You did and you work hard. Put that business down. Do what you could. That business failed. That's your problem. That's capitalism. You had an opportunity to compete. You couldn't make it. You lost it. They say, go bail them out like these banks. Yeah, that's socialism. Why do you think all these banks got the money? $45 billion, $50 billion, because this is a socialist society. They're going to bail out the rich. You always keep the rich on top, keep the poor on poor. That's how you stay on the bottom. Where did that money come from? It comes from you. Because all they're going to do is tight. They're going to tax rate and tax hike you to get the money back. So they always keep the rich on top and keep you poor. I have been a proponent for all of us need to break away. Whites, black, Chinese, whatever your nationality, whatever you call it, I don't even care about the title. It's just people that have a mind to do right. This has to stop. We're not benefiting from it. Don't you know every time these people do something, it hurts us? Every stupid decision they make, we are the people punished. You never see, you never see them with this going on with them bank. They're saying, we're going to have to cut some things off at the White House. We're going to have to lay off at the White House. They don't never lay off where they need to lay off. It's always where? Out here for the, for the lower classes. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of jobs. When we get rid of jobs, where are we going to put these people at? What are we going to do with these mortgages? What are we going to do with these car notes? What are we going to do with these credit cards? Because that means it's going to come back on us. See, they're going to continue to bail them out. General Motor, Chrysler, Ford should have been closed down. They should have closed down in the 60s. Seven, they should have been shut down. This is what people think and people don't realize. All you do is sell. That's capitalism. You give the opportunity for somebody else to come in and do better. That's all. You messed it up. How many of y'all remember uh, Airtran? Airtran was a big airline. 
till they sat around there and they had put those containers in there and that plane caught on fire and blew up everybody and killed them. Y'all remember that? Yep, they, they wound up hauling some stuff on there. It was some containers in the bottom and them bad boys went off and they blew up and they killed all those people. Well, matter of fact, it crashed in Florida. Yeah, that was, yeah, in the Everglades. They couldn't even pull the plane. The plane's still there in the people. Well, not no more. They saw them alligators around there. They, they lost that little life. That one number lunch. Unfortunate for the people. Yeah, that plane's still there. They got eight. There ain't no mistake. They gone. And that's unfortunate with that. But all they did was they got bought out and then became air train. They were jet blue at first. All they, listen, people said they were not flying jet blue. They said, I wouldn't fly. Now, it wasn't jet blue. Who they was? Value jet. They said, we're going to fly value jet because value jet crashed. All the man did was walk in and bought the whole company and painted all the plane. And he called it air tram. And everybody jumped right back on the plane. That's, how, that's competition. That's how you do it. it no, what y'all think happened? If GM, Chrysler, Ford, closed down, you think people going to stop making calls? All they're going to do is somebody just going to buy them out who's going to say, I know how to operate their business better. And it'll continue. That's, that's capitalism. That's a free society. You don't live in a free society. They more or less induce you into employment. They force you into things. They don't give you no fair opportunity to do anything. So stop believing you believe in all these totalitarian government. This is the same thing here. These people enforce and put rules on you the same way. Don't believe these people. Uh, what was Italy's um, who fascism? They're right, fascism. No, Mussolini no, was not fascism. Was they, yeah. fascism. They were fascism. How many of y'all don't know what fascism is? That's where everything is owned by the government. Everything is covered by the government. Fascist government. You ain't going to believe it. Let me see. See, that's the good thing about you being a miracle. Anyone of y'all own a house? Anybody own a house? So if I need to put a sidewalk in there, I'm going to have to pay you for that? That would be fascism. The government can take everything is in common. That means the government has everything. They can come, everything is coming to the government. So they'll give you all these little pretty tidy communists and all this stuff. You're in the same government. So America use whichever fit, whatever time it feel like. Hey, look at now, look how they force the cis on us. Okay, let's do this. Communism, they made communism look bad under who? Hitler. Marxist. Karl Marx is supposed to be the father of the doctrine of communism. Communism looked bad because Hitler wanted everybody to read the same books. Hitler wanted everybody to do the same thing. How is all of a sudden we forcing these gay books into schools? Do, can kids opt out of, they don't want to read the gay books? Okay, communism. See, they play you with these words trying to tell you, see, if you were living in one of them other countries, they'll be forcing you, they'll make you, you living in that country. See, all America doctrine is something they're taking from everybody else. They don't have anything of their own. There's nothing here that they made that they came up with, they created. They stole and took everything from some Christianity is not theirs. Everything they have, they took from somewhere else. Their street name, the name of it, Athens. Guess where Athens come from? That's from Greece. They don't have anything. Sparta. Right back to these people again. These were fighters. Sparta were known as fighters. The Spartans. They, <laughs> these people don't have anything. Do y'all know Athens is actually, do y'all even know what the name is? Listen, it's for corruption and all kind of idolatry and sex and stuff. What y'all think that college down there be doing? That's why they named it Athens. Most of these people don't know why they get, listen, they know everything they're doing. We the only dumbest. Look at Athens and see what Athens was about. The Athens were, listen, they were idolatry worshipers. That's why you put a college there. What, what, what do you think the, uh, the psychology, what they get, the psychology they get from? The Greeks. Education, pledging, all the stuff they do, the parties and everything, the heavy drinking. That's what Athens is. It refers over to idolatry. <sighs> People are so dumb. We just dumb. Well, I mean, what you gonna do? We just dumb. We victims. We just victims of these people. And it's innocent people that go to these places. Kids go and say, man, I'm gonna go down, because that's a fun school. You're actually going to somewhere that does idolatry worship. All the, you know, I want to teach our young people before y'all start going to college. Don't buy into the foolishness. Keep your head on a swivel. Pay attention. Because you don't know, these people name these universities, these people put them in certain cities because this city gives itself over to idolatry. And you go in here with this, make sure, understand. I'm trying to go in here and get educated. You don't go in here and you don't get turned out. What you going to do when you go in a house of idols? That's just me under. That's why you send them to school, bring it back. I ain't with dropping no kid off nowhere to my for their freshman year. What you think of having your freshman year? Man, your booty hole will be like a blowhole. 
No gun will drop you out know where your friend is. You done. Now I'm going to drop you up behind our right hand and pick you up when you get out. Now, think about it. Y'all remember they forced your hand on freshman year? Yeah, we like fun to stay A freshman ain't never been nowhere still on campus. Wrote a roommate that's already turned out. How they going to go? The answer is no. And what bad parent done been in college? Where your, where your brain at? But like the answer is no. You ain't getting dropped out, no. I dropped you out and pick you up this afternoon. Come on, come on. You ain't staying up in here with these people. Yep. So, what going to happen? Let me, see. Let me see. Let me see. Your roommate going to be banging beside you. And your roommate friend got a friend. Yep. yep. Then you get turned out. Your girl, when you get turned out, your name girl, you're going to be tossed all around that campus. No, be like the answer is no. Spare no girl. No, I ain't drop you off in that. No, not happening. You know, right? I'm going to take you. I'm going to sit in Claire with you. Is that what you're doing? We're doing two for one. Two for one. I know, no. See, a lot of y'all skated out of that. Y'all know for the one that man run their reputation. Run their reputation. Them girl get out of that man and that thing, though, they turned out. They done to hang out, to bang out, and everything else in them. Room, other roommate can't even stay in the room no more. They send them out and go stay somewhere else. I remember down was at West Georgia one time, boy, we was in there, man, and uh, public safety came. That joke at that door, we had to make it. We had smoking, drink, got too loud. Man was on the side of the bed, said, open the door. They couldn't come in the room. They, they, uh, open the door, they're looking now. Open the door, they're looking on the side of that bed. I'm laying down the side of that bed. My friend got his foot just dead out of the roll. <laughs> come on, about it. I said, God, I started to tell on that nigga, boy. I said, this nigga here, I done rolled over him. I started to tell on that nigga, boy, I started to let that nigga go to jail. I said, boy, this a dirty nigga. Man, we was on the side of that bed, he stand that door looking. Cause all they could do is look in the room, but they just look. They can't come in and let they know somebody now. And they don't know nothing. They heard they hear noise, and they girl, they all here, they sitting him. So they see them, they see him. That thing ain't nobody just roll like that right here. <laughs> come on, let's go. And there I went to running. That was it, boy. I tell you, you can't fool around. You don't need to be down now. All you got to do is make a mess out yourself. Then I had to suffer and go stay in some girl dumb all that night. I was angry because it was dumb and stupid. That's all I kept saying. This is dumb and stupid. I got to stay in this room. I knew it was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. So, oh, y'all, I want you to get mental checks. Give yourself a, do this. Give yourself a mental check. Good. Do better. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hold mine because I usually don't mess up. So, th now, th th so this is why we have to be mindful and, and, and really be cautious about what we allow our kids to get into because we look at all the mistakes and different things we've done. You know, I know I laugh about it at time. It's funny now, but when you're going through it, it ain't funny because you realize here's another bad decision that you made in your life and you wanted the outcome and how you get out of things. And that's why, you know, I'm a proponent, which our young people, and I talk to y'all about things, you know, try to really let you know. At the time, it is fun. But when you start dealing with the critical ends of, okay, now it's time to deal with the decision you made. Now you don't know how this is going to come out. And this could work out really bad for you. You laugh later because you made it out. But then you just consider how, you know, all along the way, how he had his hand over you, how he could allow. You know, he, he makes the decision of, this could turn out bad for you. This can go really bad for you. This can turn out a way to where you can never get this situated. And, you know, you come back to become more appreciative later in life and realize things you thought like, I was smart, I could run, I knew how to get away. And you realize you didn't know how to do anything. I just saw fit to allow the outcome to be different than it should have been. So you can consider sometime again, we forget when things happen, we always feel like he's picking on us, things don't work out for us, you know, always things work against us. How many times? Things should have went another way for us. But he spared us. And a lot of these things you don't realize he let happen because he's trying to get our attention. I need, he needs for all of us to get to that, you know, wit's end of I don't see my way out of it so you can finally start looking at him. As long as you can keep making and seeing your way out of stuff and you think you keep smart and you keep maneuvering your way out of something, you're just not ready yet. This thing is folding up, everybody. I can't tell you I know, but it's folding up. Y'all, listen, when they lock that man up, y'all think that's going to be the end of this? These people not coming down. You think, let me tell you, when they go at, Trump already done called for these people, his supporters. Yes, sir. He smartly done told his supporters. Yes, sir. Now, what do you think that code word was? Come to my house, don't bring no gun. We just stand out here. What y'all think these people coming for this time? They know what happened last time. 
When they come to the house, them police say, listen, it'll be the worst day of their life. Yep. This going to be white on white. And the bad part is going to be more police will get killed than them. Because yep. you know what now? This, white people ain't trained to kill white people. Uh-oh. White people. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. They're not trained to kill white people. They're trained to kill everybody up but white people. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Explain me how 187 officers got hurt and only one person got shot black. I mean, only one white person got killed. One civilian got killed. 187 officers were hurt, beaten, drugged, hurt. Only one person got shot that was a civilian. White people. That wasn't a black man that shot him. He was an agent. Was it a black man? And they want to they want charges on him. I thought it was white. He was on the other side of the door. He was black. Yeah, I ain't going to be able to help you, bro. Listen, when we had that, when we had that freedom march, come later. I ain't been to heaven. He's done. But you know, they've been calling for prosecution of him, though. The day when it happened, they said he should be. They, and then they called a woman. Y'all remember, they called her a war veteran. They said she was a war hero. She was a veteran. And said she hadn't even done nothing. All she had did was just broke in the Capitol and just stand on the other side of the door trying to get in so she can kill the vice president and hang him. But she hadn't committed no crime. Yeah, he hadn't even committed no crime. And this guy, him, for whatever reason, he just want to shoot her. Just reckless, irresponsible. See, these people sick. I'm telling y'all, they don't train white people to kill white people. They train white people to kill anybody else. So when they come down to Donald Trump house, them guys not trained to kill them. Make no mistake. They're not trained to kill them white people. And them white people, when they come, you ain't going to believe it. They're going to be ready to kill whoever. That's going to be the advantage. Because they're going to come talking first, trying to convince them people to move. Those people already know what they're going to do when they get down. That's going to be the only problem. And the sad part is, some of the people going to be out there, come out from their group. That's how he found out what was happening. Some of them people already going to let them know. I'm telling you, they're not going to wait to Tuesday. They're going to move before Tuesday. Because they're going to try to avoid that at all costs. Now, when they move him and they don't know where he at, well, how y'all think they're going? When they arrest him and they can't get to him, how y'all think they're going to go? They're probably just going to say, well, we don't know where he at. We just might well go back to work. They're going to tear that place apart. Ron DeSanto is going to be in trouble in Florida. New York already, listen, already, I mean, I mean, y'all Satan's second home. <laughs> New York and California, first and second home of Satan. And I'm just, man, I ain't, they ain't talking about the people because it invites so many different spirits in. People, people don't, people, listen, every foul spirit is in California and New York. Yeah. In the upper state, it's not, I'm not talking about because... It's got so many things you can do. It opened up so many opportunities for so many. It's so much trade. It's so much stuff that go on. So every foul spirit is here. That's why so many you watch so many things. And then people pretty much mimic New York. Listen, when London come out with a new style, it going to New York. Whatever London put out, friend, you can find in New York. Wherever they got. California, these folks follow. They're going to mimic these states. They say, listen, the Saudis, when they come here to play, they play in California. That's why Yahuwah tearing these places up. These folk responsible for the disruption, for the corruption of our people. That's why people don't have no stand. Like me, I'm outdated. They feel like I'm outdated. You know what I'm saying? The stuff I'm saying, you can't do this, can't do that. I'm really trying my best to teach our young people and be an example to you so you don't go out here and make them bad decisions. You can do something you can't get back from. It's some stuff, listen, they interject these drugs in your life. They interject you with so many things that you can't fight off. Once you get these different drugs, look, look at all these drugs. They some type of hypnotic. They all involve some type of sexual stuff. It go with some kind of deviant behavior. It go with this uncontrollable sense and can't think and process. You know what you can do with a person when they can't think? They, when they're unconscious? Whatever you want to do. And that's what they do to us now. That's why we can't afford for y'all guys to get on it. Take our word for it. Y'all seen some people around here burnt out before on drugs. Y'all want to know who else burnt out on drugs can't get themselves together now? I can't tell you hey what name. <laughs> Jahi, y'all ain't going to get it from me. Y'all just got to keep looking around here and figure who that is. Jahi, how much cocaine you smoke? That's enough. Today he can't even count now. Now, he don't smoke cocaine. Not today. Not today. I don't know what happened last night. But no, he didn't. He didn't. I want to say he ain't did it. No, he never smoked it. Yeah, hopefully. Nah. But no, but a lot of, I was messing with you. But um, it, it, y'all got a good opportunity to make better decisions. That's the main thing. Really start 
focusing, make better decisions before you wind up crashing yourself, making the wrong decision with the wrong group of people. Because now everything's about scarring you quick. They get you, they get these felonies, getting these charges on you early. They go ahead and set you up and get you off the street. Anything they got for you now, what they got for you the most is locking you away for the rest of your life. You can't afford that. So they lock you away for a majority of your life. What you gonna do when you get out? You gonna go right back. That's all you know. That's how you know how to survive. And living in prison. Let somebody make the decision. Somebody tell you when to get up, when to lay down, when to eat, when to shower, when to use the bathroom, when you can go out, when you gotta come back in. You don't wanna live your life like that. You want to be able to make your own decisions. That's everybody, white, black, Asian, whoever. You need to be able to be a thinker for yourself. You don't need, more, you don't need to be in no more controlled environment where somebody has that kind of control on you. Y'all got it. Our goal is to educate you now, teach you now, get you the plan of salvation so when you get out of here, you'll be a decision maker. You'll be innovative. Y'all got it? Not incarcerated. Y'all got it? Wow. Young people. Young people. Well, maybe cut on my crazy now. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk a little bit. See what does say, Mr. Yahoo. All right? All right, let's see how they go. This is the... What's this uh, translation again? Um, Bible hood. This is the complete Jewish Bible, Orthodox. Which one is it? Orthodox, complete Jewish? Complete Jewish Bible is the one that, you, that we're using. So you feel free to follow along. You need to do it. Don't feel free. Feel that cost. It costs you something, you do better. Something don't cost you nothing, then you don't really put a whole lot into it, right? When it costs you something, you really have to consider. All right, this is Romans chapter 14, 15, verse 4. Listen. For everything... Katab in the past. Everything that was written in the past. Need Katab to lamed us. It was written to lamed us so, it would be, so we can be Kudash, separated. Mm -hmm. So that with the Nakum of the Tanakh, we might patiently hold on to our Yakal. Mm. Hey, you some of the young people say now. True that, true that. <laughs> Do y'all still say that? They say, who says outdated? That's outdated? No, that's still out here. Monkey, do they still say true that? Okay. Monkey, I'm going to make your parents get a check. Which one you want to get it, your dad or your mama? Got to be one of them. Your dad or your mama get a check? Huh? Your mom? That's good. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying, your mom. Listen, if you get home tonight and it take a long time to get your dinner, don't ask no question for conscience sake. So, Faith, you know when you come back, you got a check coming. You got to put your name up down. That's all you do. He said you had to pick somebody, didn't you? And you need to ride back home. So, I'm like, you got to go right now. I know that right. Yeah, so let it be her. I can get, at least I can get home. I starve when I get there, but at least I'll be at home when I'm starving. Right? So uh, th 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 these are the things we're kind of looking at. Um, let's, let's look at something while we're talking. Let's see your cause of call. We, I think we talked about, first, first I want to see, see that three, three and 15 first. Let me see something. We'll look at that first. Something else come to my mind too. Something come to my mind. We'll see how that work out. How about that? Yeah. They call it your cause. It's a call. That means that Yah has strengthened. Let me see what 3 and 7 say. Let's see how they work out. How about that? Listen. But the bed of Yasharal will not be willing to shama to you. Uh-oh. You hear that? Uh-oh. So take me to 5 because we started right there at 7. Let's see what they're talking about 5. Let's see. Okay, take me up a little bit more. Well, I'm about to go to one. Hold on. Chris, I'm going to need a check later. <laughs> I thought that was my country talking to me. I looked though that was you. <laughs> Listen. He said to me, human being. Human being. What does it say in the King James Version? Son, Son of man. man. Mm -hmm. Don't make sense. Say human being. Well, let's, do, let me see what, let's see what the definition of human being is. 
I'm curious. A being is like a life force, isn't it? You know, from what they're in it? Cause they call, I think a being is like a life force, so human. So let me see. I'm just curious what they Oh, them ain't no human being. I know that. I know human being when I see them. That number, yeah, Jahi. I may look like a human being, but that's what I, what I can hear what he's saying. I said, a human being is a man, a woman, or a child of the species Homo sapien. How many young people say Homo sapien? How many of y'all don't know what a hum, uh, Homo sapien is? That's a human being. That's what they call early man. A Homo sapien. That's more or less the, you know what I'm saying, more or less the, I guess that's, would that be considered scientific terminology? Homo sapien? Hope it's Homo sapien what they try to call. Make sure you say Homo, don't drag it. You got to keep them together. Homo, don't know. Homo sapien. Don't put that gap and be breathing too long. Don't let say, you just said gays were created. So what they're trying to call, so what you realize, this is by their own definition. Homo sapien is what they call to be a human being. So when you're just a humo, a homo, you're not even, you're not even human. There it is. That's trying to tell you. Think about it. Amazing. Think about it. Most people don't know that terminology homo sapien, right? Early man is what the actual definition was. What you going to say, uh, Dexter? No, no, what you said. Well, did you find another definition? Uh, I don't know what the word is. Homo by itself might be man. It's because Homo sapien was supposed to actually mean like early man. The same. The same? Yeah. Homo needs same. The other man's a homosexual. He the same sex. As what? <laughs> so homo means same? Okay. See, we learned something together. Yeah, that's sapien. So then, okay. So a man, woman, or child of the species Homo sapien, distinguished from other animals by superior mental development, power of what's that? Uh, articulate, articulate. I'm sorry, articulate speech and upright stand. See, even they know that upright stand. Even when you watch the gorilla, he can't stand upright. It's pure out. Even the bear, he'll stand. He'll stand for a while, but he had to go back down. See, the discipline, you got to put him back down. It is. Even with the, even with the cars. That's why he, he put him to the ground. I need to distinguish between you. Come on. People don't know. that. Listen, people don't believe it. I tried to tell my science teacher years ago. He argued with me that they couldn't. I tried to tell him that snakes could walk at one time. He said it was impossible. They can't do it on their tail. The cords whip snake in the curtain. You might even stand up on their tail. Trying to make sure I get my mama straight at me. But now the course, well, they were, but you know, I used to tell the science teacher about it. they would stand up on their tail. He said they can't do that. And he only realized that snakes can't stand up on their tail. I'm telling you what, the green mama does it. Yeah. See, they are trying to argue from a book stand. These people ain't been nowhere and seen nothing. Oh, right. The green mama will stand up on his tail. I seen it do it. I seen the thing look up at a tree. This thing was sitting here looking. This limb was up in the tree. That thing was looking. That joker just rose itself up off the ground. He just got himself up, he grabbed that tree with his, with his neck and went straight up in. I said, I said, that joker need to see this. He started arguing with me. They used to, why would he curse it to the ground if it was already on the ground? Because it was upright. And see this, so now it makes sense. Just looking from there, this is, again, this is definition, but you see why it makes sense that he put certain things down. You look at any of these creatures, none of them can be upright as we do. The monkey will look like it, but if you watch, he got a crouch. Then he'll kind of get up. He's going to move so long until he had to kind of crouch back down. Man can stay upright. Yep. Now he look at it, it, it differentiates between us. Yep. The fact of our ability. Y'all got it. So I want to know. Now the translators use human being. He was talking to human being. But there they use Adam. I think typically what it would say was being of Adam. So it distinguished him back. So Homer said, they're looking at early man the same as early man. So saying we're the same. So when you look at calling him the being of Adam, you bring him back to where he more or less, you know, came out from. So I could kind of see that. So that's the important. Our goal, we're not trying to fight words. We're just trying to make sure we have an understanding when we're doing things. Understanding makes a difference of how you comprehend or what your reaction. If you told me to do something and understand it, then what you think, how do you think I'm going to portray it or display it? I really don't understand it. So you pretty much just left it to me and to however, whatever my ideology is of it. Because I don't know what you said. 
versus with Yahuwah, his way was, I need you to know what I'm saying. I need you to understand it. You know what I said? Your comprehension of it is going to be important because that's going to work in your ability whether or not you'll be able to do it or not. Y'all got it. So once, like he told him, our book tells us, our writers tell us that he made each. All right. So some of what they said in line with what we know. That, that differentiates up, man. Yes, sir. Sapien means discern, to be wise. Well, man ain't it. Man definitely ain't no sapien. I know man ain't no sapien. That's that part wrong. Leave me at homo. Man is not wise. I know that for a fact. No, they not wise. I prove that book right quick. See that the book of All I Hot Marine 4 and 1. I know he ain't wise. That's what he's trying to tell himself. They call it Deuteronomy. All aha da barim. See that four and one. All aha da barim. They call it Deuteronomy. Okay. And we'll come back. You who when we'll come back to that. Appreciate it. All right, listen. Now, Yasharal, Shama to the Torah in rulings, I am Lama. Well, I am and we're talking you. about listening, and our word Shama means to listen with the intent to do. Okay? So what you going to do if you don't know? You can't do nothing. What you going to do if you don't know? You don't you need to know. But I'm listening so I can do it, but if you don't understand it, you're still not going to be able to do it. You can listen when you want to with the intent. That's why it made sense for them to have clarity, have understanding. Y'all got it? Listen. In order to follow them so that you will, Kai. See that? This is what he told them. Now, Yasharal, Shama, listen with the intent to do what? The Torah and rulings. I am limiting, showing you, teaching you, instructing you in order to follow them. See, there's no way for you to pursue them. There's no way for you to actually do them unless you actually had to be taught. That's right. And when in the Nabeen, how is she going to follow it? All right, come on. Then you will go in and Hold take. Hold on for a minute. I'm sorry. So that you will. Kai. Kai. That's it. So now we look at the Torah as a what? Life giver. Ka'oa. The Torah is a life giver. So if I listen with the intent to do, and if he teach me, show me, instruct me, and order me to do it, y'all got it? And if I follow behind it, he said, then you can live. Y'all got it. You can't get in front of it. You got to follow behind it. Y'all got it. You got to stay in line with it. That makes sense? Okay, listen. Then you will go in and take possession of the arats that Yahuwah, the Elohim of your abode, is giving you. Listen, how many of us been waiting on him to give us back our land? What, what, what's the hold up? That's it, the Torah. <clears throat> Y'all got it. He said, then you can go in and possess it. So guess what you learned? When he got Adam, when he took the man and put him in the garden, that means he had to teach him and show him and instruct him. He had to follow after in order for him to possess it. It made no sense to take Adam. When we read it, it just tells us that he put the man in the gun. He could not put it in his hand and let him possess it until he taught him. See, okay, let's do this. How many of y'all want to receive the royal Hakadah? Guess what we're going to do before you can get it? Hold your God. See that? Acts of the Shalom King, chapter 2. Jump down to verse 19. Acts of the Shalom King, of the sent ones. Two and about 19. <clears throat> That'll be fine. Hold on. Matter of fact, come on down a little bit more since we're here. No, I'm, not, I'm sorry. Up. Back up. Mm, da, 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 da. Come on down. Come on, come on. Come on. I got to work this now since we're here. Okay. 15. We had to work it for him. Listen. These um aren't drunk as you suppose. Aren't drunk. They just separated so far, didn't they? Did you say aren't? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I see it separate. Okay. 
Go ahead. These um aren't drunk as you suppose. So what so what did that tell us when he had to tell them that? That was a speculation. So what you do when you don't know? That means you left me to you left me to assume. Right. And my assumption is they drunk. That's mm -hmm. only that's the only thing logically that makes sense. That's what I know. They drunk. <clears throat> and you see how that can hurt you? When you don't know something, because he told you that's why he needed to teach you, he needed to show you, he needed to instruct you, so you don't make your own assumptions, yeah. because that can be detrimental, okay? So, Listen. It's only nine in the morning. Which means they knew that, the third hour, which makes sense. They'd have never told him that. They'd have counted by hours. Come on. No, this is what was spoken, but about through the Nabah Yahuwah. I think it's Yahoo. Is it Yahoo? I can't remember. It's Yahoo. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Come on. Yahuwah says, in the last Yamin, I will pour out from my Ruach upon every one. Listen. Your Beni and Banuth will Naba. And guess what these folk do? They take this and they teach this in the Pentecostal church. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. They teach this in Pentecostal church. That's what he did. He poured out, he said, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. What does the word all mean? With that itself, the only problem you got, he was talking about all Yehud and Yasharal. Y'all got to remember something. There's only one people that matter to him. So when I say all, I'm talking about all of them. I'm talking about all of their house of them. I was never, but think about how Pentecost, they taught it as he was talking about everybody. To prove that, back up to about the ninth verse, same book. Say the ninth verse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, back me up a little bit. Seven, see if seven. That's all. Hold on. Okay, let's see what happened. Uh, seven, give me five. Let me see, my one five. Let me see. All right, listen. Now there were staying in Jerusalem. That was doing what now? Staying in Jerusalem. You said in Alpharetta, what happened? <laughs> staying in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Yes, sir. What happened? Religious Yahudim. Religious who? Yahudim. Where? From every Gui under Shamayim. From every nation. That's how he covered all flesh. Oh. He'd have never told you he was going to part no Ruach HaKadosh on everybody on the oh. earth. All flesh was entailing one group of people. Yes, sir. Hmm. See, where they talk, how many of y'all Christians, they made it sound like everybody going to have it. Yeah. Yahweh would have never told them that. He's telling you right now. This would have been your people. Now, let me say that when you say that now. So there are different ethnic groups, okay, that we become because we dispersed out. But the only, the only thing that would officiate these people obtaining would have been that they were Yahudim. Right. Right. That's where he's going. They make it seem like he was just giving it to anybody. He wasn't. He was only giving it to the Yahudim. And the reason he could cover himself to say all flesh because all of us have been dispersed among all these other goons. Oh, right. But with that happening, then he said, Everybody from that nation was there? No, no he's going to tell you how this happened. Listen, what was dwelling now? Religious Yahudim uh -huh. from every Gui under Shamayim. Listen. When they shamed this call, a crowd gathered. They were confused because each one shamed the believers speaking in his own language. See that? They heard them speaking in their language. When they were speaking, they all heard in their own language. All these people spoke another, they spoke another dialect, and they heard it. Listen. Totally amazed, they asked, how is this possible? Listen. Aren't all these arm who are speaking from the Galil? See that? What they call Galilee, mm -hmm. which means they weren't speaking English. But when, they, when everybody heard it, it was translated so they understood it. Mm -hmm. Allahim gave understanding that they understood what was said, and the people speaking never changed their dialect. That's what was confusing. How did all these different people here hear the same thing and right. they can't and they heard it in their language? Right. <laughs> yeah. They understood exactly what he said. And he didn't, you know, some people go and teach, these Pentecost is just the dumbest they want to be. They're going to try to teach that the cuff got up. All these people here, he spoke, he spoke in Mizraim, <laughs> then he spoke. <laughs> And all these other, he didn't. Mm -hmm. They st spoke in the same tongue and everybody understood what they said. Yep. Everybody mm -hmm. understood what they said. Yes, now all these people from different places and everybody understood the language. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. 
Now, why did he just think about it? This is where people try to get to justify their translating and try to transgender. If that the case, why he just didn't let them speak in the language? He could just let them spoke in part then and mean it either might. Yeah. Yeah. in Mesopotamia, yeah. which would have been easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He made it where every one of these people understood the Aubrey language. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. He said, because when they heard it, it was as clear as it was in their own language. Yep. But, the, but the speakers never changed their dialect. Right. Hold on for a minute. You don't speak that. Let me speak it. Let me give you the, the Miss Raim terminology. Never did it. He just made it what they heard it in their language, so they understood it. Right. Mm -hmm. But he never changed their tongue. Nope. See, this is when people are stupid. This is when they dumb. Pentecost church, Holy Church. Some of the dumbest people on the planet. Because these dumb folk run around here screaming and hollering something. Why we can't understand what you're saying? Come on, right. Because these people clearly, wait, they say they heard their own language. How do you judge about, blah, 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 blah. what language is that? Yeah. Because the language that was spoken, they just told you. Yeah. The people speaking were speaking from Galilee. Yeah. This is over in the region of, of Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Which means they spoke Abari. Come on. What they call Hebrew. Come on. So how do you justify? Don't even, and you know how stupid they actually read this and they still come up with this dumb noise making, and they think they justify. Y'all all never told you that. That's right. This is what he said. How is it that we shama them speaking in our native language? You said in an unknown t in our native language. Yes, sir. And in the, in the King James, it said in our tongue where we were born, mm -hmm. and they still sat there with this stupid stuff. Spirit moving. <laughs> Nothing but look. Yeah. Do you understand? We've all been dumbed down. Yes. That's why I said Christianity does not allow you to think. The English versions say ask, how can we hear them in our language where we were born? Yes, how is that an unknown language when they tell you I hear what you're saying in my language? Right. Right. See, when God starts moving, you can't order God. When that spirit pour out, it be gone. You can't order Allahim, but there's an understanding. That's why he taught them. This is what he's doing now. He's teaching them. He's letting them go. First of all, let me let you sit down and figure this out. Then I'll teach you how it go. Listen. Mm -hmm. We are Parthian. See Me. that? We are Parthian. Me. The Medes. We, a matter of fact, we were under the Medes. The Medes and Persian. Iran. They're yes, Iranian. Yes, Come on. And the Iranian don't have no language. No, that's it. Come on. Elamite, residents of Mesopotamia, Yehuda, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asua, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Misraim, the parts of Libya near Serene. Wow, that's foot. They got to put that foot. That's right in Libya. The Libyan people don't have no language. Come on. Visitors from Rome, Yahudim by birth and proselyte, Yahudim from Crete and from Arabia. How is it that we shama them speaking in our own languages about the great things Elohim has done? Wow. How is it we hear them speaking in an unknown tongue? Look at God moving. <laughs> I don't know how you, I, that's why I say with Christian, it makes no, con, it makes no conscious sense. But they just show you when you read it. Cause I heard all of it. They nobody ever think. I never thought you didn't think. They just read. They get to going. You just following. You just as stupid as you want to be. You just going and you just believe in something. This thing clearly said to you. How do you come up with an unknown tone? The man clearly said to you that people heard him speaking their language. How? How? How did we? How many y'all used to believe in that? They were speaking unknown tongue in Acts chapter two. Mm -hmm. That's God. How, wh where did you get it from? See, see you reading and somebody injecting thought. That's how they dumb you down. I don't think you can read. Well, look. See, this is y'all listen. Y'all just listen. Clear what you know. See, this is God is moving. I know what they say, but these are unknown languages that's lost and we can never find them again. This is called you're stupid. Mm -hmm. This makes no sense for us to be so dumb. How's it edifying? How's it beneficial if these people are speaking and then nobody know what they're saying? Right. What's the benefit in it? What you got? Let's see some. First Corinthians, right quick, chapter 14. So we here on the way here to go that way. First Corinthians, chapter because they all think they're smart. Applesauce, all of them, they think they're smart. Just make a fool. They, they wasted a lot of our time. First Corinthians, chapter 14. 
See if that's all. I don't know, 14, 20, 21, 19, 17. Uh, see if 14, no, see if 14 is 7, 1 Corinthians. Let's see what I want. Probably read it down. Let's see. No, we got to back up. See, five. Let me see. Four? Okay. And then I'll come down. Go up to four. Give me three. So you think you know everything. Now I want to check, too. <laughs> check. Because you try to blame your nasty attitude on us like we gave it to you. That's right. You've been here. That thing we met you. That's right. This is three. Verse three. That's two checks I heard you talking about. <laughs> Listen. But someone, Nabua, is speaking to all, um, edifying, encouraging. So that edify. Let's see what edify is. Can we see that? So that the definition. That means you're putting something or you're, you're uh, putting something out to people. So that's what people, this, this, this is what you're always trying to look at. If you look, the description about us is always more or less formulated as a body. Your body, different things you do give attributes to other parts and other meanings of the body. So that's why he looked at it. If he gave you an operation to do something, it has to benefit the rest of the body. Y'all got like the heart. Where's your heart? Do you have a heart in your foot, a heart in your brain, a heart in your arms, and a heart in your finger, and a heart in your knees, and a heart in your one heart? And what that heart got to do? It's got to work. It's got to, listen, whatever it do, it's got to benefit the whole body. It's got to pump blood to the whole body. And when it doesn't, if it doesn't do that, then you got to decapitate it. You got to take it away. Get rid of it. Because it's going to die. Let's see what it is. Instruct or improve someone morally or intelligently. Edify. Okay? So that's the purpose of when he gave it to him. So when, when the bull was done, what they called prophesying, it was supposed to edify. Y'all got it? It was supposed to instruct or improve us. So that's how we would know what it can. How does that help us? How the hell? God told me to tell y'all he finna give me some new shoes. What would be a sign that you know he did? I mean, but, I, but I'm getting them shoes I want. He want me to let y'all know. Absolutely no reason. No reason whatsoever. Y'all got it. These people play a fool like, get up, Cannon. God told me your wife is, your wife gonna be here tomorrow. How they gonna help y'all? If that were the case, he'd just let me talk him. It don't benefit you at all. It won't benefit you. Now that's he going to use him as an ox, as a sign. Y'all got it? See, these people play to come to town. Everybody come get in line, pay your money, and get your prophecy read. These folks ain't never sued sell. How you know you're going to speak? What, what, how do you benefit each one of these people? How's that benefiting the body? Okay. Let's go back and look at what we're doing. So instruct and improve. Okay? So, so but someone, Nabor, is speaking to who? Um. Improving and instructing. Encouraging and comforting them. You said him? Them. Your prophet ain't did nothing for nobody. That's right. Made a fool out of you. Come on. A person speaking in a tongue does edify himself. Uh-oh. Who? You said, how they have us shout? Man, every time they do that thing, it just, whew. That thing just sent chill bump down, man. Come saying that thing, be, it's so powerful. This, see, this is stupidity. Now, think it is. It be doing something for me. Is it really doing something for you, or you conjure something in your mind? Because he's clearly telling you how this works. A person speaking in an unknown. See, you don't see unknown because there's a different tongue. There's a terminology that you, and it, the tongue is actually just one word. A lot of these words are talisman. These words don't exist. Unknown and others don't actually exist. But they put them now so you can differentiate between the two. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about tongues because there is a tongue like they spoke in their Ukok Shabuah. That's why it wasn't to one because they were speaking in another language. So it benefited everybody. Y'all got what I'm saying? So when a person speak in an unknown tongue, y'all got it, which is not known to man because it's a conversation between Allah, him and them, how they going to help you? Let's see what he said. A That's person, only one way. A person? Speaking in a tongue. Does edify himself. See, you know the unknown in him. That's how you know when you read your book. They, but, I mean, it's a reason. I'm, I wouldn't fight him on it because it does help you understand That's the right. difference. That's right. Come on. But a person, Nabua, edifies the Ada. Listen. I would, would like okay, I'd like. Go ahead. you all to speak in tongues. But even more, I would like you all 
to Naba. Whoa, you hear that? I would like for y'all all to be able to speak in tongues, but who you going to be benefiting? I would rather all y'all with Nabua. Who you going to edify? It'll be instructed. It'll be improving all of us. See, that's a conversation you give to people you're trying to get them to be unified, be a body. He said, I, 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 want all y I would like for all y'all to be able to do it. But who, uh, let's go again. Who you going to be benefiting? Yourself. Y I'd rather all of y'all with Nabua. See, people don't look at stuff. They don't want them to tell you what. People don't want correction. People don't want to look into information because then it restricts them. Because see how it works when you get in God. <clears throat> you lose. Y'all heard folks say, man, you lose. Ain't no man, ain't no man can hold me. You lose. God lose you. See, all that be just dumb terminology, stupid speech, and you don't get, then you outside now when the word travel, you know what they say? Who wrote that? You say, what's Who wrote that letter? I mean, who? Paul? He ain't Jesus. So I ain't got no beard. <laughs> Think about it. This, this, come on. This how people, you know why people pull that stuff? Right. They pull that stuff because they're not honest. They're not. They try to pull what they like. But then there's other thing he done said. I can do all things through, through the machine out that strength in me. Who wrote that? What? That You shouldn't obey that either. Right, right. See, you, you casually move to what mm -hmm. you like versus taking it as he gave it yep. to you because there's a reasoning behind it. See, you don't have this order. Who to say who wrong? Why y'all think the whole church had ran so long? Ain't nobody stepped foot to really set these people down and show them. We, uh, you get through chuckling like a hug, like a hen and a rooster. Let's look at what this thing says. Come on, preacher. And you know, they'll set and fight you all over the place yes. and start making stuff up. Let's look at something. I'm just curious here. See if that's the 28th chapter book of Yeshayahu. I want to see how it reads in the complete Jewish. Because see, the King James is not even an accurate book. That's right. We'll look at it from the Greek. They take it from the Greek. It don't make no difference. Let's look at it. Jump down to 28. I want to see what 28 and 9 say. Let's see if they say what they've been telling us. How about that? That's good. That's Yeshua who they call Isaiah. We'll look at it. How about we'll look at it all of them. Let's look at James. We'll look at different ones. Let's see what we got so we can see if it's a difference. Yes, sure. Go ahead at Jane first. Twenty nine. Let's see. What wow. happened? That same book you used should it should have had a different um yeah, different translation. <clears throat> What is this? this is that. That same book you had should have had different translations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That way you don't, you you can stay in the same book. I don't want to cause mm -hmm. what I don't want them to use. Why? Oh, there you go. He deceived me. I ain't trying to see nobody. I just want to just sit down and just, just look at what it says. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to trick nobody. He keep moving with some time up, your mama. She should have moved one more time for you guys, so she got pregnant with you. Mm -hmm. I said, why you be talking about people, mama? Because I can. You need an answer. All right, this, which one is James? All right, this James. So I don't want to. So they don't get me on. Oh, here you go. No, this is still. I'm saying down here. So we got to play with it a little bit. Let's see. It's not King James. No, sir. What version is there? No. Right. Refresh. Did you refresh it? That's a Hebrew great. Well, we'll work this one. He there. Yeah, up here. Over here. That's how you refresh. That's yeah, that's a it still say complete Jewish. Change the change the translation. Then we'll look at the E, we'll look at the Greek. Cause I don't want to, I ain't trying to trick nobody, y'all. There you go. So that working together, but keep that edify, that help. All right, listen, listen, this is nine. This is King James, okay? So these folks, we'll look at them all. Y'all good with that? So we can see if I'm trying to trick you, if it's even need to be moving. How about that? Listen. 
whom shall he lament knowledge? He want to know who he going to teach knowledge. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who? Them that are weaned from the milk. See that? And? Drawn from the bread. You got to be off the tip. Go ahead. For a precept must be upon precept. A precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Tell them what happened. Line upon line. How? Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. Tell them what he going to do, son. For with stammering lip. With stamp. Y'all see that? Stammering lips. And another tongue. And another tongue. Will he speak to this own? See that? And that's where they got them. They look, they look at the Jewish version and we'll look at the Greek. Because they all think they're smart. You got to refresh once you get it. Did you refresh it? Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Can no listen. one be lumming anything? Can no one understand the message? Did that? He he asking now. Can can can? It ain't nobody I can teach. It ain't nobody that can understand the message. What happened? Must one lum it barely wean toddlers? Mm-hmm. Babies just taken from the breast. That's what he's saying. Is that what you got to do? I got to get somebody young. I got to get somebody. That's why I got to get somebody fresh off the tip. Somebody just been weaned and been breaking away like Yasakot was. Listen. So that is in the bracket. So that's why that's we have one has to use nursery rhyme. That's what they put. Mm -hmm. Okay. Precept by precept. Uh -huh. Precept by precept. Line by line, line by line, a little here, a little there. So? With stammering lips and a foreign accent will speak to this arm. Back up. Back, come on back down. What, 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 what kind of lip that is? Stammering lip. And? A foreign accent. You said unknown? A foreign accent. That's why he had to do it where they heard him speaking his language and understood it in their language. Yes. Foreign, not unknown. That's right. These yeah. people are not smart. Yeah. See, they're so stupid because they run to try to justify. Why you got foreign? Let's see what the Greek said. Let's not start. Let's go to the Greek. I ain't trying to. It ain't hard to show these people. They, these people are not accurate. With it. They're not honest. They're not sincere. They don't want to know. I don't care. Who? That's a man wrote that. Give, all I need is a book a spirit wrote. That's right. That's right. Give me one the spirit wrote, I'm going to throw them all away. That's it. But yet they've been inspired. I don't know how, why he put foreign now. Because yeah. see, see, when James caused confusion, it ain't going to just put on James. Because when you want to do what you want, it doesn't define enough. So whatever tongue you, I can't, I can't tell God what tongue, that's how he justified that's not order. He was, that's why Shaul was trying to show them. He said, let everything be done in decent order. Just like, say, um, Bashti come up here, Leon come up here, Malcolm, and all of us just start preaching at the same time. That's against the book. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody will be, oh, man, my God, look at, man, I was at church the other day. God used the men of God. All them guys start preaching at the same time. He's clearly told you how to do that. Hope oh, we'll finish that. Come in before we get that. Jump right quick. They said that, that same 1 Corinthians 14 chapter. Jump down about the 28th verse right quick. Then we'll come back. I ain't, I ain't running from nothing. Now, if you want to stay stupid and you want to keep running doing it, that's where you at. Because it don't make sense. Listen, it, I've never done read it and understood it and said, well, even though I say that, I'm going to just do what I want to do. That don't even make sense. No. That don't even make sense. Once you see, that don't even make sense. How do we get into it? That show you how people program your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What's that, 28? Yes, sir. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. 28. See 27. Listen. I'm sorry. That, that 26. We'll see what 26 says. This is 1 Corinthians 14, 26. All right? Listen. What is our conclusion, Akeem? Listen. Whenever you come together, let everyone be ready with a tahalim or a lamed or a kazum or ready to you his barak of tongue or give an interpretation. But let everything be for edification. Now, this is crazy. Whenever. Now, the King James Version said, how is it when you come together, everyone mm -hmm. has it. Here, if you look at this translation, it said, whenever you come together, let everyone be ready with a tahalim. Now, this is different. It don't say it in King James Version. No, sir. No, sir. It could ask you, it's asking you, how is it all y'all got one? That's right. Hands for why he just told you that. All right, I got one out here. 
Is the hog got the hand up? You do? I got to bypass you, minister. We'll come back. What you got? What you got now? What? First Corinthians, when he said everybody speak the same thing. There'd be no division. So when y'all come together, everybody have a tongue, everybody have a... That's what he's saying, so everybody speak the same thing. No, typically when you look at why he told you you come together by having a tahalin, because the book tells you to make a joyful noise unto you who are all your land. Serve your hood with gladness, and come before a present with what? That's why you pay me. No check for you. <laughs> oh, I told you have a tahalin. Hello? Okay. So he told you about be ready to use, he wants you to be ready to use the baraka of the tongue or give an interpretation. But let everything be for edification, edification if the, the barak of tongues, tongues, which is the benefit of tongues, is exercised. Let it be by two or at the most, most three. How many of y'all come out of tongues speaking church? How many of y'all seen more than three people do it at one time? Because when God get to moving, I'll be honest with you, man can't hold him down. Man can't stop God when he starts. See, that's the problem he got. That some can be written and told some, and people can be that stupid. That's right. He, just told, he said it don't make sense. The fact that you ask yourself, and the spirit, think about this, the spirit will hide today. <laughs> when that thing started moving today, everybody broke out. I mean, even little kids start speaking in tongues. And you, all the problem we got is, why would I, this thing. Now, according to 1st first, first by Naba, 1st Timothy, chapter, 2nd Timothy, I'm sorry, Beth. Beth, 2 Timothy, 2 by Naba, Beth by Naba, uh, 3 and 16. Now, all of the writings were given by the inspiration of Elohim, which means he inspired it. So he inspired something, he can't even control it. Because all that was given by the inspiration, and said what profitable for doctrine. For t- profitable, that's what the man giving us now. Said, I'm giving you what profitable. So this is what we're going to call edifying. But now, when the spirit get high, Ain't no telling what's going to happen. <laughs> so how we know when he moving? See, you know, that makes no sense. If you're ordering something, and I'm supposed to know you by your order, right. then you got other stuff going on outside your order. I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to be hard to tell where you at. That's right. That's right. That's I ain't going to be able to identify you. Because yeah. stuff you's doing, you got us doing this, but you're doing that. Yeah. Then you're doing it. Then I ain't no telling what you're going to do. Yeah. But I'm supposed to be following you. That's all I'm trying to get people to say. That makes no sense. That's why it's important why the writers are here. So you can check. He got this. Says, you can check me. I could pop out all the sense. God just gave me this. And what you going to do since he be all over the place and he moved mysterious. Can y'all really say he didn't? Unless we have something to substantiate your claim. Yes, sir. That's the purpose of the book. This keeps every each in order. Otherwise, you left. You just at, you're at the mercy of somebody. And now you in error. And all, what you going to say? I thought it was you. He said, to keep that down, that's why I love everything I want, how I want it done. When it ain't done that way, make no mistake, that ain't me. That's not me. Y'all got it? Listen to what he told you. Now, don't forget now, two at the, listen, or at this the most. What do most mean? Great man, you can't go over there. So if you got, say you got three and a half, three rolling. You say, okay, one going. You say, okay, look at it. two. All right, we still, three. That's it. Then a half will break out. What if somebody got, they didn't do the whole thing, they just burned out a word behind it. So at three and a word, I got to cancel all of it. I can't take none of it. And the thing gonna be, I got it's at his word. See, you going with sometimes we can be too technical. He's technical. That's the problem. He is technical. That's why he's telling you, so you'll know and catch a lie. That's right. <laughs> so I'm too worried about trying to pin the Lord down. No, I'm not trying. Stop it, folks. That's not my writings. That's why we're going through to show you. I'm not just pe- why he keep moving through. I'm trying to show you, pay attention to accuracy. Pay attention to behavior. Because these people will get you when you don't know. Come on, see what else he told you. Listen. And cut that mic on. All right. 
You got to be careful each cutting turn. on and off that button to get weak on you. Listen. And, and each in turn and oh, let oh, someone oh, oh, interpret. Stop, stop, stop. And it, I'm sorry. Okay, right. Okay, I'm sorry. And then how they get and each how they got to do it? In turn. So if it's three on how they got to go? Two, then one? One by one. One first, then two bust out together. So like it'd be a lead single and the two mics in the back. This a pro how many of y'all done seen them do it at the same time? What you gonna do with that? Somebody say, cause see it cut you. Somebody say, well, I seen it, it was three. When I said it was, it was three, so it had to be right. But they were doing it at the same time. Cause he said he doing it. Cause how they gonna work? Candy got tongue, I got tongue, then you break a tongue. How they gonna help you? How they gonna help y'all? Cause you try to figure what you know, so it ain't benefiting you. He said, Won't y'all take turns? <clears throat> Let one of them speak. Then let another one speak. Then let another. That way it's going to benefit. It don't, I don't, I, he said, I never jump, I'll never jam up a bunch of stuff like that. It don't make sense. It can't be profitable to you. Come on. And let someone interpret. <laughs> That's why one needs to talk. So somebody can say what he said. Listen, he just said, you're who are getting ready to do such, 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 such. But the other two rattling going, somebody said, I was trying to because the Spirit of God was moving on them. I know you interpreted, but I, I was trying to hear, but I, I didn't want to miss nothing God was doing. He would never do that to you. That's too strenuous. That's not even common sense. One trying to interpret, the other two going, and three speaking, it's confusion. All right, come on. And if there be no one present who if can there interpret. If there be no one who can do what now? Interpret. I'll be honest with y'all. When God started moving, it's on the interpreter. If he ain't there, that means you ain't obeying God. Yeah. See, people yeah. do everything. That, let me tell you something. This is the logic of stupidity. Why would I give a gift? I know how the gift operate. I'm using a gift, and I, you know what? I was so busy, I forgot to send an interpreter. Do you understand how clumsy minded that would be? Why? You don't even realize you're insulting this man's intelligence. Why do you think I gave you this order, and you don't think I would have knew to have an interpreter there? Sometimes inter interpreters don't be where they supposed to be at. They ain't obeying, they ain't living right. That's why they couldn't interpret. But the, but the folks speaking in tongue did their job. How is that benefiting you? See, we've been lied to so long. Churches, synagogue, mosques. Listen, everybody's sham. I'm being honest, everybody's sham. Because nobody want to sit down and say, can we just please understand what we're doing? Why we got to take more years of stupidity and then blame it on him that he's doing all this stuff no matter know what he's doing? That makes no sense. <laughs> Yahushua told uh, Tom and Dean that all things he heard of his album, what did he say he did? No, on to you. So it wouldn't be no confusion. Why to say he sent tongue speaking people, no interpreter, everybody out of order, and it, that's just how he, that's how he worked. He said, you insult my intelligence. That don't make sense. So if there's nobody that interpret, he said, I don't need to be talking. Listen, this and refer back to me, Bostick, and Leon up here preaching together and just all of them preaching at the same time. Come on. And if there be no one present who can interpret, let the arm who speak in tongues keep silent when the Adah meets. <laughs> Listen, the people need a word. I just been there. Right now, the people need a word. I just got to go and bust out in tongues right now. Don't y'all need a word? Who don't need a word? Well, I ain't got time to tell. I'm just going to do that, and God just had to give it to you. That makes no sense. Versus you should be checking me saying, that made no sense. Well, that is true. God, God can still do it. He just come back and interpret it later. That's not what he told you I'm going to come in. He said, I have to have it. If there's no interpreter, they shouldn't be speaking. So why would I move them to speak when there's no interpreter other than for you to see I'm not using this person? Mm -hmm. That's the only reason they be talking. For you to think anything else for you to, is for you to insult him. Come on. They can speak to themselves <laughs> and to Allahim. I can't fight them. They sitting in their seat rocking and on here. And him and them, I ain't got no condemnation. That's right. How am I condemn it? You can't. You finna burn in hell. You over here talking and speaking in tongues. I can't hear you. And it's just between you and him. Who in error now? Yeah. I'm going to be in error. See, that's why he, he said, I'm not listening. You can do it. No one needs to hear this. Nobody but you and I, because it's going to cause confusion. There's no one to interpret. <sighs> Come on. Let two or three never speak. Doing what? 
while the others weigh, weigh what it said. <laughs> you hear that? So two or three are speaking, the other two will be weighing what's said. They sitting there listening, trying to see. Hmm. So that makes sense. What happened? And if something is revealed to a Nabi, Kazun to a Nabi, who is sitting down, what happened? Let the first one be silent. And do what? For you call all, for you all call, for you can all nabble one by one yeah. with the result that all will learn something and all will be encouraged. Let me tell you how that work, okay? So I'm up here talking, I'm going. If a Nabal, if something revealed to them, kazoon to them, and it be given, I'm supposed to hold my peace and let the, first, let the other one speak. He said because the, the ruah of the Nabal is subject to him. That's right. See, to give you proof and evidence of that, in about the 13th chapter, I'm going to go get in the book of uh, Shabbatim, so I'm sorry, Olive, I'm sorry, 13, first, Olive, Mal, Akim, they call it First King, 13 chapter. You'll see when um, Josiah went up and he had, and he had began to nobble, and way he began to nobble about him and how the man stretched forth the hand of the altar, and he was told not to go into the man's house. He said, don't go back the way you came, don't go in the house and don't eat nothing. And he wound up going anyway. And when he sat down, the man met him and told him, said, I'm in the ball. So Yahuwah done told me, said, uh, Malachi came and told me that you were supposed to come back with me, he went back with him. And while he sat there and he was eating, Yahuwah moved on him, he stood up and let him know, Yahuwah told you not to come back here. He told you not to come back, you weren't even supposed to go the way you came. That's why I had y'all to come in one door and go out another one. It was supposed to teach you a behavior. Mm -hmm. Don't go back the way you came. See, it's a small system. I know it's supposed, really, it's just too much. Okay, he's trying to tell me, I want, I'm, I, he brought me out of alcoholism, brought me out of womanizing, and all of that. I'm not supposed to go back the way I came. So the best way to do it, don't go back any way direction toward the way because you can't go back that way. That's what he told my bro. He brought my Mizraim. He told him, you can't go back. The way, the way back was the way you came. That's why he took him away. You can't go back the way you came. So they understood that. The best way to keep him away, this road off limits to you. So there's no way for me to go back. You go in and out of the same doors, you don't realize the premise is off a lot of times. So to get them to understand the order, it ain't a, let me say a cut. It wouldn't be Qatar, literally, you to go out that door, but it's to teach you a concept. Once you come in that door, that way you can't go back out. You go to a certain place, you didn't went some place, you go in the door, and you try this on. They say, you, you said, now I got to go all the way. You can't go back the way you came. Where y'all think they get it from? So why it looked like it might be stupid and trivial, it was teaching us a behavior that when you came out of the way you came, you can't go back that way. So guess what I got to do? Now I got to put that thought back. The thought I had, well, I'm just go because I go. <clears throat> Cancel that. I can't go that way. So whatever I was thinking that way, get rid of it. You can't go back the line. You can't go back the train. You can't go back the whole mind game. Just get it out your mind. As long as you keep going that way, you are more subject and prone to commit it again. That's why he set these premises up. Because I said, once you start enacting something, doing it, then you start to understand it. It's like track. You got to train yourself every time you get ready to run. It's things that become your behavior. You know the bounce. You know how you got to run. You know how to adjust the set. At the first, it's a constant reminder. Second, it be, after a while, it becomes a behavior pattern. It's just become a natural. Because that's what you've been doing. That's what we're trying to get us to do. Take on that form. Y'all got it? All right, come on for a second. Come on. Let's just talk right quick. I can get back. Also, the Nabi, Ruach, are under the Nabi control. For Allahim is not a Allahim of unruliness, but of shalom. Peace, prosperity, and wealth. He said, why would I put that kind of confusion in there? Why would I do that? Why did I give you some of this confusion? That's why I had to go through all these people's writings. Because it's confusing. That's why he said the order, because now I got all through them speaking. Who you supposed to be listening to? That's so you confused. Why would I give you that? That makes no sense. All these people keep wanting to put it on. That's just the mystery of God. How we, how we talk? You know what I'm saying? God's a mystery. It's a, he's a mysterious God. How he move? So what am, I, what am I looking for out of the man? I don't know what he's doing. Everything mysterious. I can't trust. I mean, really, I just had to really just wait till he do something. Man, why? So he gave me a whole book of what I do. And I'm, and I'm living my life all mysterious. 
That makes sense? This is what I do. Man, he show more mysterious ways. This don't even make sense. This is why religions have hurt us. Religions have not been our friends. Religion has been our foes. Because man wants to create his own practice outside of the will of Elohim. That's why he stopped and said, let me stop this. This makes no sense. These people don't know me. That's why he looked at they need to be taught of me. So you will know off the real. I only waste time with that. I see four times. I don't waste no time with that. I'm saying, hold on for a minute. Hold on. I'm trying to interpret. This would be stupid. Because nope. it ain't for me. And there ain't nothing I'm, I'm not wasting no time in it. I don't invest no listening skills in it. I don't waste no time with certain stuff. It makes no sense. A woman preach. I don't waste no time. I already know he can't use a woman preach. He's not going to use because it's against his will. That's I right. No, oh, there's no foolishness like that. That's right. No. Come on, this one wouldn't bring a good message. On the problem is he didn't give it to you. That's right. He didn't tell you to do it, so I wouldn't wait. Why would I be listening to it? I'm just going to see what she's going to say. No, I don't believe what he told me. I don't let no one, it ain't happening. I ain't interested. I ain't going to listen. It ain't going to happen. I ain't calling you bishop, apostle, nothing. Call you an impostle. Y'all see that? So, listen. So, for Elohim is not an Elohim of unruliness, but of shalom, as in all the Adah of Elohim. Um. Some of his, now, you know, some of his people now, some of his people do it. Not his own. <laughs> he said all of them. He said, I do this in every one of them. I, it ain't, I don't have one group I have doing different than the other one. In every one of them, he says the same thing. One speak, the other one sit back and hold their peace and let them judge. If some reveal to the second one, let the first one hold their peace. It ain't going to be no fight. They get, both of them going to get to fight and flip over their chair, then you already know now. He just told you, for the rule of the Nabi'in, he said subject to him. Yes, sir. They understand the practice. So many people have done so much damage. You know who does damage? The people. The preachers ain't damaged. The preachers know what they're doing. Now, I don't, even if they don't, sit down and stop what you're doing and at least ask. At least research and see. Why you keep going at the expense of you? That's the part. It's your expense. You the one going to pay for this. Come on back, right? What we had over there. Um, we still had um, Yeshayahu. I had moved him right quick. We were looking at the Greek. Oh, and then the complete Jew. Let's see if he's, oh, no. No, that's fine. No, this Greek. Give me the Greek version. I thought they had the Greek in them. You sure? No, uh, it, it should be now. It's gonna probably be, it should probably be saying the Benton. Don't look for Greek. It should say Benton. The Greek is usually gonna say Benton something, I think it is. Benton. Now. That's all I got. Come on down, baby boy. That that old me call him baby boy. Ain't it? Come on, baby boy. Baby boy. That that old time. They got a book called Names of God Bible. No, no, I want to see that thing. Man. <laughs> no, I'm just saying they got one. These people just all over the place. Just come on down. We're fine. Just throw a little faster. They got all kind of stuff. Orthodox Jewish. We read Complete Jewish, then Orthodox there. We got Wycliffe. Come on down. Yeah. No, come on down. That's it. If you go back up, it probably had to your other translations. Could have found probably looked at um, Tisdale. Tisdale wasn't in there. I don't care what Tisdale said. No, Tree of Life. These folks just make up stuff they go. I don't know, man. I don't know. No worry. I don't know. Voice, why clear? Okay, don't worry about it. It ain't in that version there. This particular one you got don't have it. They should have had it now. Okay, you don't look at it over him. The Greek. All right, this is the Greek version. It's still 289. All right, let's see what he told us. Listen. To whom have we reported Rosha, and to whom have we reported a message that that are weaned from the milk, who are drawn from the breast, except thou affliction on affliction, your call upon your call, yet a little, yet a little, by reason of the contemptuous of the lips. 
by means of another language, for they shall speak to his arm, saying to them, this is the rest to him that is hungry. That's what they try to teach. That when you speak in an unknown tongue, he gave you that because he said that's his rest. Mm. They try to use that to kind of justify. And see, even he's talking about speaking to his people in a tongue. But see, the only thing about it, when you look at it, it don't really specify enough to let people know it wasn't an unknown tongue because people have ran so long trying to do something. And I appreciate the fact that Yahuwah is an Elohim that allows us to get understanding. For years, I felt like it's just things he don't want us to know. That's not true. He said that the secret things belong to him. He said, with those things which are revealed, he said they belong to us and to our children, even all this Torah. That's why, that's why it's not a secret what he was going to do. See, on the day of Ukar Shabur, he was teaching them. Come on back right quick, too. They call it Pentecost, Ukar Shabur, or Shabur, because it's the first fruit. They take out the first fruits. <clears throat> where did we leave? Where we left off? Two and what? Two and nine? Two and two. Where we left off at? Uka, uh, Acts of the Shalakim. Chapter two. Ten. I think all we right. finished ten. First, I right, verse ten. Listen. Phrygia, Pamphylia, Mizraim, the the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome. Mm-hmm. Yehudi by birth and proselytes, Yehudi from Crete and from Arabia. Mm -hmm. How is it that we shama them speaking in our own languages about the great things Elohim has done? See that? And from Arabia. Now, they're going to put Saudi in front of it. We were there before the Saudis got there. The Saudis only got there in the 1900s. So this is stuff you need to look. See, when you read, they give you names of places you don't know. These are reasons why they were dispersed and they were scattered at. The reason they were scattered at, all these places come back for so it denotes something that you pay attention to. We were in Arabia. We was in Arabia. Why? Hands. Hands. I think he beat you out there. So tell him why, uh, Papa Son. <laughs> That's right. Mount Sinai was there. That's where we got the Torah from. See, now the Muslim, now the, now the Saudis, the family of the Saudis, our side family has came and they took that land and now these people sold it off <clears throat> and these people sold off and they sold that part back over so they sold actually the mount back over to Misraim. it was never Misraim. it was a separate you were in arabia see all these places you don't go to you don't know about you were there nobody told y'all any of this stuff you were there that's what he would take these people came from arabia because that's what mount sinai was that's the first time he spoke to us that would be sacred when y'all hear people talking about going to Mount Sinai, they want to go to Jerusalem and they want to go to Mizraim, they call Egypt. Nobody wants to go back to where he, he first spoke up, we got the Torah there. That's sacred to us. Yet you never hear anybody talk about it. Okay. Okay. I'm just telling you, we so, we so uneducated about our history and how things were actually set up. And that's why you don't, I don't get this connection of reading unless you understand the place and understand these are places you derive from. You actually stayed in these places, even after. And nobody teaches you that. They just tell you, that we came from Africa into America. That's your history. You've been in more places than that. We got people in Kush, they call it uh, Ethiopia. In Sudan, all these places. They tell you about the king, the queen of, which the uh, Malka of uh, Sheba, they tell Ibelin she came from, from Sudan or she came from Yemen. Do y'all not know they fighting in Yemen? Saudi Arabia is fighting the folk. Y'all heard of Yemen? That's where they said she came from. Her name is not Sheba. That was the name of the city. She was the Malka of Sheba. You've been calling that woman named Sheba. That was the name of the region. Now, you don't think it's amazing that they fighting in Yemen and blowing up in Yemen and killing in Yemen? They blowing up in, in Lebanon. You were in Lebanon. That was your border. Because these white folks are determined to destroy anything that denotes you or identify you. That's right. And because they fighting and killing in it, what you say? Who want to go visit them? That's how they work. That's how they keep you away. Right. Everywhere you want to go see, tell me, any place black that denotes you, what's going on in it? War, poverty, nothing, they cut them off. You got to get 50 shots. They even look at it on TV. 
anywhere white you want to go, you don't have to get no shots. You just jump and go. You don't need no visa to go to Paris. Sweet, none of them play. You just go. You trying to get back in place. Well, you got to send your stuff up to the embassy. They got to get in touch. You say, man, that's too much headache trying to deal with this stuff. Because they keep you away. You're going to put eyes on it. You're going to see what you've been told and what you see are two different stories. Just like when I take you and show the book, this is a different story. How did we let these people get away with a church full of tongue speakers? The King James Version would have cut it off. But they convinced you on when God started moving, man don't control God. Nobody ever said man controlling. him. He gave man the order so man would recognize when all of him moving. <laughs> they try to make it, he's trying to control. Stop being stupid. How can I control the man? Right. Just say I want to control it. How can I do it? So this would be useless. They trying to dumb you down about him. Come on, let's finish this up. Let's see what they were telling them. Come on. Amazed and confused, they all went on asking each you other. You see what they said? Amazed and confused. They all went on asking each other. What can this mean? But others made fun of them and said they've just had too much wine. That's how it is. They get drunk. And they made that conversation and they come say, he just told you why. Because they didn't know. They didn't know. That's exactly why they told. Because they didn't know. Something just happened, and we don't know what happened. It makes sense for her to give an unintelligent decision about it. That's right. Listen. Then Cuff stood up with the 11, and Coom has called to address them. Lift up his voice to address them. You. You, Yaudin. And? All of you staying here in Jerusalem, let me tell you what this means. Shama carefully to me. Listen. These arm aren't drunk, as you suppose. It's only... Nine in the morning. See that? First of all, he ain't you nothing spiritual. Let's talk calm. Look at what time it is. Does it make sense they would be drunk? Why he break out in the spirit? This spiritual or this calm? And you so busy trying to be so spiritual. First of all, let's just, let's, just, let's just calmly sit here and look at it. What time of day is it? For them to be drunk. Let's go ahead and kill that. Some things you have to dissolve naturally. They just saw, why, why are you trying to talk to these people about something spiritual? They just saw something out and it happened and just came up with a wrong conclusion. And you're going to have another spiritual conversation? To start off, first of all, I need to dispel what you're thinking. Right. What time of day is it? That's right. Who gets drunk and, at 9 o'clock in the morning on the third hour of the day? It's too early. They just told you what happened. They were confused. We didn't know what was going on. And people were making fun of it. Come on. No, this is what was spoken about through the Nabi, Yahuwah. Listen. Yahuwah says in the last Yamin, I will pour out my Ruach upon everyone. Say that. Your Bani and Banuth will Naba. Let me ask you a question. So when Yahuwah just told them, I'm going to pour out my Ruach on all flesh, your sons and your daughter, why would you be thinking there'd be some more people? Come on. Come on. I just said all flesh, but I said your sons and your daughters. Come on. That denotes back to who? The whole world? No. I'm only giving it to a people. I don't know what they're thinking. Because he's going to say something out of each one of them at all. That's right. Come on. Your young Anashim. You say everybody? Everybody young men? Your young Anashim. Right back to denoting the who? I'm, I'm confused. I don't, I don't really understand either. It's almost like the apostrophe is showing ownership. Your son? Your sons. And who else? We'll see, Kazoom. Who else? Your old honor. Who old men are these? All old men everywhere. These Christian church had a thing. All these folks going to be doing this stuff. It's stupid. He's talking to a group of people about what they're going to come into possession of. And they took it as the whole world. Come on. Will Cologne Kalamu, even on my slaves, both on Which will be his abode. They like slaves. The slave denotes something different. A bard, yes, those sir. that serve him, even on my a bard, both, both on Ashim and Ashim, listen, will I pour out my ruach in those Yamin. See that? In those days, they were looking for those days. Listen. And they will now, I will perform ox in the sky above in the and the 
Come on. Ox in the Shamayim above and Ox on the Orats And signs on below. This is what he did when he created. So he sent them back to Barashit. Your book said Genesis, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth and the heaven were void and all these different things. But if you look at it from the Abari, it doesn't tell you that. It said um, Barashit in the beginning, Barak created, uh, Alahim Hashamayim Ox, that he created the heights expansion and he put a sign now. Then it tell you about the Orats. And he told you, Ots, he put a sign on the Orats. It was important for them to know this because he told you, I declare the end. That's why he told you. So guess when he said he's going to do that? In the last day. So when did he tell you about it? In the beginning. Because it was going to happen when? In the last day. That's why you pay me. He said, I declare the end at the beginning. That's why they kept telling you he's going to do it in the last days. Because Barashit told you that when I created, I put a sign in the Shamaim. That's why Yahuwah, he told you, behold my abad, my servant. He shall be a stole. He shall be what? High. Very high. Which means he was going to be an ox. Yeah. Then they brought him down to the Arats, and that made him an ox well. On the Arats. In the Arats. So I put a, a sign in the Shamaim, and I put a sign in the Arats below. Let's see what he told you. Dom, Listen. fire, and Blood, big smoke. Blood, fire, vapors of smoke. The Shamash will become dark. Black. And the uh, Yarik Dom before the great and dr fearful Yum of Yahuwah comes. So that would look at. And remember, he referred to the Shamash. Who was he talking about? It's tight. The father. We go back to Yosef when he told him that he that he call him, he call him a Kalamut. He said, I dreamed a dream. He said that the Shamash, the Yarik, and the Kukabin, they all did obvious to me. And his father told him, what mean you to say this? Shall me, your mother, and your brothers all bow down to you? Okay. All right. So we're talking about the feminine. Remember, Yahushua was sitting up on the two. Where was he at? Shamaim. Who gives birth, a man or a woman? Okay. The book says he bore us. What, what state did he bear, the feminine or the masculine? They pierced him in the side. What came out? That's what I'm talking about. At night, when it came dark, he was sitting up there, had the Malacca of the Yahudin. Is Malacca female or a male? Okay, that's going to refer to the Shamash. What happened? It got dark. He hung him against the Shamash. Okay, don't worry about it. Keep killing time. Before that great and fearful yum of Yahuwah comes, listen. And then, whoever Kara on the Shem. Of Yahuwah will be saved. See that? But then now the book of Romans told you the difference. Your Christian church told you, just call the name you say. Roman detention asked you, how are you going to call him and whom he hadn't heard? That's right. That's, how are you going to call him? You hadn't even heard. Huh? And then he's going to how are you going to be taught? He said, how are you going to be taught? Except he's sending you a line. That's right. He's going to send you a raw. See, all the stuff that they take and read, these folks, and this is these folks justified this sentence for how they say. I called upon the name of the Lord. How you gonna call him in whom you hadn't even believed? How you gonna believe in him in whom you hadn't even heard? And how you gonna hear without a teacher? Yep. And how they gonna teach itself? They be sin. He been shalot. That's right. You who got a sin? Yes, sir. See, they been running, they're reading it. This is it. See, that's what my God said me, because he said, whoever called on the name of the Lord will be saved. But Roman asked you, how you gonna do it? You hadn't even believed nothing. Then you can't believe without hearing. You can't hear without a preacher. And a preacher can't preach except he's been shalom. Right. Mm -hmm. See, I dispel all them lies you've been told. Folks have made a fool out of us. Then they get you, everybody just call the name of the Lord right now because the Bible says he'll save you. You can't because you have to be taught. You have to believe something. You can't believe something unless you done heard or seen something. And you can't hear or see that unless he done sent some hell somebody, and that person got to be sent of him. That's what he did with Musha. He sent him right back down to him. Mm -hmm. That's what getting the company to believe. And he had to work the signs in front of him. He had to give him a shim. That's how they knew who to call on. They want to know what is his name. What is his name? And you said name Law. See, people made a fool. Like, all I'm trying to do is get us a thing. That's all. Come on, let's finish this up. Let's see where we're going with it, because there's got to be something behind this. Yes, Listen, sir. who are you talking to? You said, you said Gentile from what nation? Men of Yasharal. Shama to this. Hold on, he probably saving everybody. Why is he talking to the men of Yasharal? Yes, sir. I'm, confu I'm confused now, because we saving everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody done got saved, got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. 
Everybody's shaking and trembling. Why is he talking to the people? Other folks out there, oh, wait a minute. The other, come by for a second. Come by for a second. Come with me. Come with me. Stand right. Come around. It's all a back of people for what you believe. <laughs> my father ground was broken by a thunder sign. Pick up the people. <laughs> I've been pissed. Like, how you going? Why are you talking to them and we here? Or was anybody else there but them? Because he's just talking to the men of Yasharal. Appreciate it, big man. Get that check later. <laughs> Listen. Shama to this, Yahushua of Nazareth was in East, demonstrated to you to have been from Elohim by the powerful works. See, that, that's how you're going to know it, by the works. That's how you knew he came. See, how I know he came? Because he told me. No, it was by the works. Come on. Miracles and arts that Elohim performed through him in your presence. You yourselves know this. This Ish was arrested in accordance with Elohim's predetermined plan. You know, I don't know where them folk came and got him. That's why when he was there and they were asleep, he told them to take their rest. He said, I already been delivered in their hand. Because it already been determined. That's why he didn't try to fight them and try to get away. He told them to take your rest. He said, I already been arrested. I already been given in their hand because Elohim already predestined. I know I'm going to jail. He said, what y'all nigga trying to do? I wish one of y'all nigga would put y'all hands on me. He said, I already know where I'm going. Come on. And through the agency of persons not bound by the Torah. You see that? He let the people that can't get him, no folk want no ban no Torah. Come on. You nailed him up on a stake and killed him. Come on. But Elohim has combed him up and freed him from the suffering. I know y'all don't remember why we came him. I did all that talking. I tell you. Come on. It was impossible that Moot could keep him, could keep its hold on him. For Dawood says this about him. See, I said, this is the thing you look at him. See, this is what you need to know. See, Elohim had already put something, not only his detriment, but he also had put his deliverance in place. So it was no way it wasn't going to happen. Just like it was no way he wasn't going to get arrested. He was getting arrested. There was no way they're going to hold him down. See, you don't realize things that are going to come in your life and challenge you, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. But it also got to happen that he said, I already set forth your deliverance, though. Like us coming over him. See, unlike what you think, you didn't come here because this is as far as he could go. He brought you him so he can get it started. Come on. That's like right. Like Hammer said, let's get it started. That's all he, he said, I had to get you to get it started. How I'm going to bring you back from somewhere you ain't been? That's right. How I'm going to save some people that are not in a perishing situation? That's right. I say I came to save. Who I'm saving? <laughs> so what, what condition you going to need to be in for this to happen? What, you, what condition you going to need to be in that I'm going to gather you from the four ends? Uncle Ben. Scatter. Now, see, understand the situation. He let you know, listen, he was already, it was predetermined how he was going to jail. But you weren't going to jail if you were going to stay there because I was going to come and loose the door. I told you, I set the captive free. Mm. How am I set captive free and nobody been arrested? See, you too busy falling out about the situation presently happened. You don't understand. If I allowed that situation to happen, you don't think I had already made provisions for the outcome of the situation? You were so busy fame at the present. I needed this to happen so I can show you I already had this worked out. That's why I said it was in pop. They said, listen, put a stone in front of the door. Because that man was talking about getting up. Just so you know what's up in? Well, see, know what you do? You can't let the devil know because the, the devil know. See, then he'll block your blessing. That man kept telling him, listen, I got to go to Jerusalem. I'm going to be living into the, in the enemy hand and be betrayed, and they're going to crucify me, and the third day I'm going to get up. He put it out there to show you they can't block it. That's right. You still stuck up on them. Don't let nobody block your blessing now. He only put me in a situation so he can show you I already made provision to get you out. He put him in Mizraim for 400 and something years. You think that all the time? He already told Abraham, I'm putting him there for $4 to the dollar because man, lifespan was 120 years. I put man here for 4 to the dollar. 400 years, I already made provision to get him out. It was hard stress on it, but I made provision. That's how you're going to see me. That's how you're going to know me. And all of him that delivers. And I set a man up that's going to say no. I set a man up who's known for blocking stuff. 
I know a man, I put a man over there, everybody else fears, so now I take him down. Now I'll be renowned. They don't know. This is the Allahim. That's how folk recognize what he did in That's why people recognize it to this day. Everybody can't talk about the Greeks. These folks ain't had no, no bigger rule than Mr. Raheem did. That's right. Ain't no time no everybody went to no Greece. That's right. It's something we were frying fish. Ain't that right? <laughs> Allahim ordered everybody to come up under these folks. Yes, you sir. had to come to Mr. Raheem. That's right. I'm telling you, and all of he put us there because he made provisions that I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to take down who everybody else feel. America on deck. On deck. She on deck. Everybody feel her. Yeah. They all done drunk of the wine of her fornication. Yes, sir. What they keep saying? You can't beat them. America beat everybody. Everybody time coming. Come on, let's finish this up. Come on. As for Dawood says this about him. What happened? I saw Adani always before me. Tell him why, son. For he is at my right hand. Ben Yamin. That's his name, Ben Yamin. They've been saying Benja Ben Yamin. All they don't know is Ben Yamin because he's the son of my right hand. That's what Dawood said. I saw him always before me. He said on my right hand, I ain't moving. That's all nigga. Get out of the way. I ain't moving. Y'all heard he told you. I ain't moving. Y'all hear me? He said, I ain't moving. He said, he always see it for him. He said, he on my right hand. Ben Yamin, the son of my right hand. He said, I ain't moving. Yes, sir. Come on. So that I will not be shaken. See that? So I will not be shaken. For this reason, my lob is glad. And? My tongue rejoiced. Listen. And now my basar, too, will kai on in, in the certain your call. You see that? Now? He said, in that, in that your call. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Listen. That you will not abandon me to Sheol. See that? That he won't leave me in the grave. Come on. Or let your Kadash one see decay. Let's see, you need to see. Guess what your book said, King James say? Corruption. That's different. I told you before what it meant. It's not corruption. It's decay. Everybody else body who died, it, it breaks down. Here's when do it. That's why he got him up. See, that's, that's our confidence in this man. See, everything he said he's going to do for him, he did it for him. You ain't going to believe it. He'll do it for you. Come on. You have made known to me the Darakim of Kai. Made the way of life. You will fill me with Y'all don't remember y'all reading the fourth chapter of the book of Allah Hadabarim? Yes, sir. He was talking about loving them and teaching them. And the Torah. And told them about it was so they could live. That's right. Guess how Yahushua knew how to live? He said he made known to me the way. This is what Cuff is doing with them right now. I'm going to teach you guys how to live. Come on. You will fill me with Shusha by your presence. Shusha. Come on. Akeem, I know I can say to you frankly that the patriarch Daoud moot and was buried. His tomb, his tomb is with us this Yom. Mm -hmm. Therefore, since he was a Nabi and knew that Allahim had Shama a berith to him that one of his descendants would sit on his throne. He was speaking in advance about the resurrection of the Mashiach. You see that? He said he was talking about it in advance. Allahim had told him that there was never going to fail a man to sit upon the throne of Daoud. Every one of them sons that came, people kept looking for it to be them. Every ruler that came under, that's why he had to separate, people don't realize why he had to separate Yasharal. With Yasharal standing together, that would have made a difference of who would have sat on the throne. So he had to separate them. That he would keep Yehuda separate from Yasharal. And that's how he was set up there where there would never fail a man to sit. You got to remember, Afarim was over Yasharal. So he had to separate and he put Yehuda. He had to set a man to rule over Yehuda. And he did what he did with Daoud. Daoud first set over who? Yehuda. Over Yah no, he first set over Yehuda. Yehuda. He ruled Yehuda. Then, after he conquered, he ruled over Yasharal. That's how Yahushua is going to gonna do it. He said no to Yahoo. That's why they put him up on the tooth. They wrote, this is the Malak of the who? That's what Daoud started from. Then they told him later he was on the tooth, if he be the Malak of Yasharal, because I'm conquering. When I conquer, I'm going to sit over both. Remember his conversation in the fifth chapter. 
Hither to my other work, I'm still working. He said, even now, I'm still working. That's how he was looking at it. I start him, but I'm going to set up a bowl. So the only way to keep a man that was still in the Dao'u's lineage, he had to separate. Because with Afarim being over Yasharal, there's no way that a being a Dao'u would have ruled. Afarim descendants were going to rule over Yasharal. Okay? These are two sons. You had Manasseh, you had Afarim. Afarim was the youngest. His name is Fruitful. Fruitful is the one he put over Yasharal. So that was to tell me that he was going to get rid of Yasharal. That mean he was going. That mean he was going to flourish. That's why I put him over. So don't. Them, that's why I told you words have meaning. So Yasharal would know. It makes no sense that I'm going to get rid of you when I set you up and put a ruler over you named Fruitful. Stupid. Yeah, he don't have them no more. It's just all Yehuda because you're stupid. He put Afarim over there. Let Yasharal know <clears throat> you're gonna still be fruitful. Y'all got it. See, these are things you need to know. When you don't know them, when your situation come up on you individually, you don't know how you're going to come out of them because you're left to the mysteries of God versus the knowledge that he done left written. Come on, finish this up. He was speaking in advance about the resurrection of the Mashiach mm -hmm. that it was he who was not abandoned in Sheol and whose basar did not see decay. Listen. Alahim, cool. So when he up. said that, he tell you, they thought he was talking about Dao when Dao said it. He would let them know, no, when Dao was speaking, Dao was talking in advance about his being. They were thinking Dao wasn't going to die. He wasn't going to Sheol. That his body wasn't going to decay. But that's why he was telling them, let me clear this up. Dao dead. And his, and his kabar, his grave is right here among us. So we know he wasn't talking about him. He was speaking in advance about Yahushua. Come on. Elohim cum up this Yahushua, and we, and we are all witnesses of it. Come on. Moreover, he has been exalted to the right hand of Elohim. Benjamin, Benjamin. See that? That we trying to tell you. That's how he got it. Exalted to his right hand. This is the son of my. This is the son of my right hand. The right hand represented the strength. That's why he was able to tell you all power was given to him. Your right hand. How many people right handed? Your left hand stronger. Which one stronger? Right. And he said, that's the son of my right hand. That's my strength. That's what a son is. When you have, you pretty much look at the son. That's your strength because you're typically getting older. So you look at, I'm going to give it to my son. My son going to carry it on. So I made it my right hand because typically most average people are right-handed and the right hand is the stronger hand. So I made him the son of my right hand, which made him meant he was my strength. That's why he told you, all. Oh, I'm his right hand. All right, come on. Has received from the Abba what he Shaba, namely the Ruach HaKadosh, and? has poured out this Barak, which you are both seeing in Shama. Listen. For Dawood did not ascend into Shamayim. But? He says. Listen what he said. Adani said to my Adon. He said that Yahuwah said to my Adon. Sit at my right hand. Until? I make your enemies a footstool for what's your feet. What's his name? That's why he just told him to sit at his right hand. So you my son, you sit at my right hand, Benjamin. Son of the right hand. Okay. Come on. Therefore, let the whole Beth of Yashara know beyond doubt. I'm still doubt. confused about the other nations, though. What are we gonna do about all these? What are we gonna do about the other people out here with the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues? Why does he keep talking to Yashara? Well, he done gave this thing to the whole earth. Come on. Therefore, let the whole Beth of Yashara know beyond doubt that Elohim has made him both Adon and Mashiach. He done made him the ruler and he made him the anointed. Come on. This Yahushua whom you executed on a stake. Listen. On Shaman this, they were stung in their lob and they said to Cuff and the other. Immersaries? What that? Immersaries. All right. Akeem, what should we do? Cuff answered them, turn from your kata, return to Elohim, and each of you be immersed on the authority of Yahushua HaMashiach into forgiveness of your kataim, and you will receive the 
Barak of the Ruach HaKadosh. Bless him. For the Shaba is for you, for your Benim, and for those afar off. I can't remember. So I don't know how other nations going to get it. He's talking to Yashra. He told me it was for them and for their children and all of them later on. So the only way anybody's going to get it is how? You will have to convert to Yashra Yehuda. Come on. That's right. I don't know how you. I don't know how you can teach other people they can get it. See the problem you have with Christianity? They are telling these people they can get some, and they're not. You can't possess it. Remember, we just heard who you talking to. Who who all heard it was Mesopotamia? Yes, sir. That region, um, Phrygia, yes, Pamphylia, me, Crete, Arabians. That's right. All these other people around here, Cappadocia, all these places, and you come up saying, "Let me speak to the men of Yasharal," and the promise to you. So nobody else could have got it but them. So the only people can get it is people that convert, that come under. See, this is the stuff they don't teach people. They keep telling for holy people, you don't have nothing but a hole in your head, nigga. Yeah. That makes no sense. The man talk, why does he keep talking about Yasharal? He was like, let me talk to the Macedonians. Let me talk to the Cappadocian. Let me talk to the Libyans. Let me talk to the Cretes. Let me talk to the No, I'm talking to Yasharal. Because Yasharal had been dispersed in these places. Hello? Okay. Trying to help y'all out. Come on. As many as Yahuwah, our Elohim, make horror. Listen. He pressed his case with many, with many other arguments and kept pleading with them. Save yourselves from this perverse Tuladoth. So those who accepted what he said were immersed, and there were added to the group that yum about 3,000 on. And what did they do? They continued Amunah in the teaching and the emissaries in fellowship and breaking Lakam and in Palal. So, and, and the reason why we're looking there for y'all that don't know, see, when we start in the fourth chapter of the book of Allah Dabarim, he started telling you about the Torah. He started telling the importance of teaching it to them so they could receive life. That's what the Ruach HaKadosh come to give us. But you can't get it without being taught. See, if you notice, nobody got the Ruach HaKadosh until they sat to hear what he told them. That's right. Once he taught them, then they understood. That's how they became recipients of the Ruach HaKadosh as an indweller. Y'all got what I'm saying? Because they were ignorant of what they saw. You think you're just going to get it because you saw it. No, you can't be ignorant to it. You have to have knowledge of. That's what he was going through. He made them, put them condition on where they could be recipients of the Ruach HaKadosh. And that's what we're trying to do with you guys. Make sure you understand. You're trying to get a spirit of understanding. So you need to understand in order for that to happen. It makes no sense. Without knowledge, you can't get understanding. You can't have it. You can't be a possessor of it. You can close your eyes and squeeze them until they make water. You can cry. You can, you can bang your head on that bench, and you won't get nothing until you have an understanding, until you have knowledge of subject matter, until you conform to, until you align yourself to. That is the only way you can get it. Thank you. Yes, sir.